He's here. Haha, <laughs> guys, welcome in. Oh, let me check this. It's fine. Okay. Aha, I see. Guys, welcome in. Choose from our Fire Emblem Three Houses. Forced attack maddening. We play a maddening difficulty, and we must attack the enemies now. This is going to be pretty special. We got some paralogs today, I believe. Um, so, you know, that we're going to be hearing that music a lot. <laughs> yes, it's chapter 10, and I think on my chapter 10 schedule, I'm going to take a look at what paralogs I had scheduled for this month. I think it was some time ago. The Ash Catherine paralog and the Yuri Constance paralog. Aha, these are two very good paralogs to do right now. Guys, welcome in. I am Raisins. I am your streamer. Today we're playing Fire Emblem Three Houses, Force Attack Manning. We must attack. If at any point you're ever unsure about the rules, exclaim Force Attack should pop up the command right here. Yes, you should be able to see the rules in chat right here. <laughs> and of course, I got the sad music now, right? We just beat Chapter 9. Welcome in, of course, all the early people. Shiba Inu124 and Kana. Welcome in. Glad to have both of you. Kana, thank you so much for the sub, by the way. Enjoy the emos and ad-free viewing for eight months. That's a long time to, get, to have the support. Enjoy your hand axe badge. <laughs> How are you guys doing, Kana and Shiba Inu? Welcome in, both of you. Anyway, without any further ado, well, I guess we could have some more further ado. I will say, by the way, um, those new emos are so nice, too. I really like all of them. I will say, so by the way, um, <laughs> I love them so much. I have a new uh, headset. And the new headset... Um, its volume control is kind of like attached to the software. So I have a feeling that uh, the desktop audio is going to be imbalanced the, uh, for the game. I know like right now it's a bit different, but today, today of all days is the day to tell me, hey, the game is too loud, the game is too quiet, um, because it's going to be completely off what I'm used to, right? So. Please, if at any point you're like, hey, the, the volume is bad because of this or because of that, like, please, sh please just let me know. I did have a feeling you're more dripped out than usual. I know, right? We got this. We got the... It, it feels so much nicer, too. Like, the old one was pretty nice, but this one, it, it feels... The, the old one got, like, really uncomfortable with the glasses after a while. Like, it, it, it would, like, really press my glasses into my, my head, and it would actually, like, be really painful, but... Um, I mean, it was still a good headset. It still did pretty well. Uh, but again, this one's volume control is like tied to the software. So, um, I mean, be honest, guys. Again, like if there's ever a point where it's like, hey, the audio is completely off and you need to fix it, like just tell me. <laughs> Too bad I can only watch 144p. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, guys, if the audio needs to be turned up or down, just please let me know. I should have a bot in here coming in from time to time telling you guys that too. Raisins, you play Souls, you know the way to fix it. <laughs> Just look better, I know. <laughs> but having a bad internet connection does to someone rip. Anyway, um, the visuals look pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The chat's in the wrong place. Actually, did guys like chat down there? I kind of like chat down there. Maybe I keep chat down there, do I? As opposed to center left? I just had this thought. I kind of like it down there. I like you guys in the lower right, you know, below me where you belong. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it for a bit. You can watch in source and I'll have to become a brick. Oh, watch out. I'm trying that out right now. Good luck. Good luck. One sixty p. Because I'll commute for an hour forty. <laughs> And when you started and when you ended, I was still there. <laughs> anyway, um, I was looking around at my classes, and I don't think there's anything else I have to do for reclassing. I did know that I got Violet to level 20 recently, so I put him in Hero, as he uh, deserves to be. And I, I I do think the Hero class is pretty good for him right now. I wonder actually if it was worse, if it was worth spending the Advanced Seal. I mean, it probably was spending the Advanced Seal for Hero, right? Like, I know I get Enlightened one at the end of this chapter, but I only get it at the end of this chapter. So how about I have something that gives me some good benefit until then, right? Basically not watching the streams. Rip, dude. Rip, I'm just watching chat. I guess like one of these days I could maybe get Brigand, but we'll see. Up to him at 6 a.m. to watch the stream, finish lunch, and stream was still going. That was like it was like seven hours. Like I downloaded the VOD and I'm like, man, how the hell do I publish this to YouTube? At this point, if I'm going to publish it to YouTube, I'm just going to make it like a separate video. I'm just going to do it over again. <laughs> right? I'm not even going to... Like, like, I'm not even... Wait, hold on a second. I have a thief seal. 
yeah if i were to put if i were to put it on youtube i would i would just completely do it over again or like i would have the list done but i wouldn't be like talking to chat the whole time right what was i doing by the way let me turn off the nightlight row row i i like turn off the nightlight every day why do i even have this thing because i never turn it back on let's see if this color scheme looks great on sniper can I get a sniper list with you? We can take a look at it. Do you want to check it out soon? Does it? Looks okay. Looks okay. I don't know. I just don't like sniper. It's kind of cool. Actually, I like how the... The outfit like, has a lot of bulk on her, you know? Could be Bernie sniper. God. Like she's pretty small, but the outfit is still pretty big, so it makes her like look bulkier. I think that's pretty cool, actually. No, where's? Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I almost forgot to do something. Where's the button? <laughs> I've done this right in battle. Yes. Okay. Finally, we got that fixed. Sniper outfit looks great in general. I think male sniper looks great. Female sniper is like weird. Chan. Wait, what about Marianne sniper? This could be like the secret drip, though. What about Marianne sniper? Nah, not really. I like the dark blue. But it's just weird. And then what? Sharpshooter on XCOM? Hell no! Ugh, anything but sharpshooter. You're not, not... Oh god, Leone Sniper looks terrible. I already know it. It's like the one downside of this build is you have to be in this stupid outfit. Or something. Like, just go back to Monastery, bro. The green outfits? Green outfits is okay. Who has a green? I bet you have a green, don't you? Hello, hello, what's up, Junior Girl? Look at that. See, that's hot. That's hot. I like female sniper everything except the bulky collar, to be honest. I guess it works on the male outfit. The bulky collar? I don't like the bulky collar. And, like, the big hood? I think that's super cool. So, I, ju I just think the weird, like, like butt flap here is really awkward. Like, bro, come on. Like, put on some pants. Don't, don't be like, ah. Our shorts are too short. Quick, put a flap over it. Like, nah, dude, just put some pants on. God. What about plane snipers? Is this any good? It's going to be the pink. Could be paint mounted. Oh, true. No, this outfit looks terrible. Went in sniper. No, no, she does. I had to manually put her in monastery. The fates mounted the thong. Whoa. If she was warlock, think about it. How much would she get? She get plus six magic. How much res would she get? She get plus seven res. Hold on. We should start training her in this. <laughs> we could get plus seven res on her. Think about it. Cyber vet looks good on you. Shamira's a goaded maid. She's got that fire spell, I know. I think this looks sick. She got Thor. Wait, she's got Thor on? I think this looks awesome, man. That's a good outfit. What about Yuri? Hold on, this has to be this has to be top tier, man. Check this out. Check this out. Oh. What a man. I'm gonna be that guy, nitpick, no quiver. Like using sharpshooter. Yeah, sharp well, sharpshooter sucks. Cyril's good, though. Cyril is like the opposite of a sharpshooter. Balthus sniper has to be like... Ah, uh, that's actually kind of trash. What about constant sniper? I'm afraid of constant sniper. This looks terrible. I wasn't a big fan. I, I just don't like the brown. I'll be honest. I think the brown is terrible. Nah, this is terrible too. Like every female sniper outfit is like, bro, really? I, like, like Scythia's was the only one that was even like maybe kind of good. And that's because it was like super bulky on her. It looks like. like. I think that looks pretty good. A Raphael sniper. Hold on, this has to be something, right? Check it out. Playing too good? Nah, Flying Sniper was terrible. Look at that. Oh, it's like, where's Hero? I bet he looks great in Hero. Check it out. 
I like the hero outfit. Also better than Byleth haircut. Hot professor in my head. Wait, what? There's a Byleth haircut? Oh, like his like his his or her haircut. Male Byleth or female Byleth? Yeah, it looks kind of greasy to be honest. Is? Yeah, no. Like it, it looks like it doesn't take it looks like it doesn't shower. That's what it looks like. Three hopes. Let's say the sniper is okay. I thought let's say the sniper is actually pretty good. Yeah, like I, I normally hate female sniper. There's not a female sniper I've seen that I've liked. It's like an onion. Hold on a sec. Where is it? Where is Mortal Savant Manuela? This. That's top tier. That's good drip. Look at that. I'm literally just making a bow that can actually withstand Raphael's strength. Look at that one though. Tight. I know. What a good outfit. All the way. Mommy Savant. That's right. This, this has got to be. This is one of the best outfits in the game though. Mortal Savant Manuela. It's e easily one of the best ones. Got to be Mortal Savant Manuela. You don't like Catherine Mortal Savant? Too bulky? Let's look at Catherine Mortal Savant. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. We'll see it in just a sec. I never actually saw Mortal Savant Manuela's outfit. It's so good. Hold on. Um... Where is it? Mortal Savant. It's a hidden gem, Mortal Savant Manuela. Oh, this looks terrible, yeah. What? No, get out of here. You know? She's too nimble for this kind of outfit. That's not right. Also, well, they have the... Like, the, the women have different stances, right? Don't they? Because you have the... What is, like, the... There's, like, the relaxed... There's, like, female relaxed, I guess, is how I would call this pose. Right? And then there's, what is this? I'll call this like female, like proper or something. There's like female proper where they have like the hands crossed in the center. And then there's, there, there's like Scythia who's like female, like standing. I don't know what it was. I don't know what this pose would be called. Or she's just like hands at her side, you know? Oh, this one's also pretty cool. Yeah, Mortal Kombat Manuela, idol. Yeah, yeah, female idol. Just chilling. You know, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Kind of like that. Gremory T1 Lysithia. Can Lysithia even draw the blades behind her? No. They're going through her arms. Our poor sleeves, small knight. Dark Knight outfit is S tier in every unit. It's seriously super cool. Look at that. Look at that outfit. Oh, sec. What about me? What about what about Mortal Savant Hilda? Maybe this is a secret gem. No, not really. It just looks kind of weird. Dark Knight Hilda? There's no way. Dark Knight boob clipping her hair. Rip. No, I ain't feeling it. There's no way, right? No. The yellow is weird. I think Dark Knight Leone was kind of cool, though. Wasn't it not? Nah. Where's Dark Knight Wrath? Oh, Dark Knight Ignaz? Watch it be. Watch it be. Dude, it's so... It's so metal. Does it be like a heretic samurai? Maybe. Mortal Savant Ignatz. I actually really like the male Mortal Savant outfit. I really like the armor. And the look at the like the dangly the dangly straps. <laughs> kind of funny. I look on Claude. It's not drip and drip alone. I said I was gonna do that. We were that was gonna be the Bishop to do run right. Ugh. 
No. You meant male mortal savant where it makes them look like super bulky? I like what the hell? Okay, this is like lowest tier so far. No, get out of here. This has to be the worst one we've seen. It does no, it doesn't get lower than that, man. Come on. It literally doesn't get worse. <laughs> Too bulky. I know, right? Like, bro, come on. Get out of here. Oh, where's another fella, maybe? It's gonna look terrible on you too, because you have the same like stance. Yeah. Doesn't even look good on you. Actually looks kinda cute. Is the OBS logo? Wait, is it? Uh, I, I can't really see because um I'm using Stream Elements OBS. Great Night Yuri. Ooh, hold on. Bow Night Yuri. Bow Night Yuri? That was kinda cool. What about dismounted Bow Night Yuri? Dark Night Yuri? Dismounted Dark Knight Yuri? That's fierce, bro. Dismounted Holy Knight? Like the spiral on those chests? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the idol like like Scythia wouldn't look as bulky. Oh, that looks kind of cool, actually. The shame Holy Knight's like, that's so bad. Because look at that. This dismounted Holy Knight looks sick, bro. Hold on. He, the cape is caught on his arm. Look. <laughs> it's clipping through the arm, and now it's caught. <laughs> Maybe we can save it. Nope. Can't save it. Mortal Savant Baltus. That doesn't actually look too bad. It's it's the brown though. That's the issue. It's the brown. Any of the tiny female units. Oh, where's my favorite? Not even Fortress Knight. Fortress Knight is isn't even the best. It's armored knight. Easy. Look at that. <laughs> Plane, I want you to be an armor knight for this one. Shut up. <laughs> Go forth and kill them. Oh. Oh, she won. <laughs> it's that time of the year again. That's right. Okay. Um, I think we just want to get into the map. All oh, right. There's this one random support. Your great quotes are muffled. Did imagine that I, that'd be the best. Is the top of their armor and their mouth sanitary? No, it's going to build up like saliva and stuff. Okay. What's this? Lost item? No, just an owl feather. Oh, hold on. We have an intermediate class now. Time to go whoop some butt. I mean, great Saturday stream vibes. Exactly. Oh, it is Saturday, right? Who likes rare weapons? Professor, I'm so nice. All right. Why am I talking to you, actually? I don't gain anything from it. Uh, what's the other tournament? House vs. House Bow? <laughs> if they don't watch their arm. I mean, the thing is, like, that would get, like... Like, imagine if someone, like, hits you in the chest. It would go back and, like, smack you in the teeth. And then you're, like, bleeding everywhere. I feel like that's not very safe. You know, the point of armor is to, like, protect you from attacks. And, like, if they hit you in the chest... And now, like, if they hit you in the armor, you're just getting injured, you know? Okay, um, we might as well, we might as well give it a go, right? Like, imagine getting the Brave Sword, that'd be kind of cool. We could cook, sure, or we could just go straight in there as a hero, right? Aren't, aren't I a hero? I think I'm a hero, right? Yeah, I'm in hero. No I got the stance. Wait, do I even have Should prowess I equipped back? or no? Yeah, I've got prowess equipped, okay, that's good. Oh my, okay, and then finally. Each battle, a chance to grow. You deserve the dentist appointment. I mean, the point of armor is that, like, you can wear it and you don't have to worry about them hitting you, right? Yeah, you think, well, I mean, of course they would wrong house and the generics do. The generics wear, like, helmets and whatnot, but I'm turning this down, I think. Um, again, guys, I got, I got a new headset, and so it's probably going to mess with the audio. Let me know if it's ever imbalanced. And I have a feeling it's imbalanced right now. But yeah, no, the, um... Like, the generics wear armor, but your your units never wear the headpieces, right? 
But like, yeah, the point of armor is that you can wear it and like you don't have to spend energy defending yourself now. And then... Like... Because you don't have to spend energy defending yourself, you can just attack them. And like they they have to defend like if they don't if they're not wearing armor they have to defend your attacks. From the class outfits at all yeah no. I brought a hammer to a sword fight well yeah it's like like they can attack you but it doesn't matter you know like if you're not wearing armor and you're in a sword fight and they attack you you have to like block their sword right but if you're wearing armor it's like who cares I can just let you hit me and then meanwhile I'm like hitting you with my sword the whole time. Okay, um, let's take on this guy, right? What are you, a hero? Oh my god. Hold on, have I met my match? Damn! As expected. Wait! Oh, I Crest of Flames cancelled him and then he procked advantage. <laughs> what a weird what a weird thing. What a weird interaction. I was like, did I just like desperation him or something? Or like brave attack or what? Each battle I had no idea. And then the final is Sylvain. Wait, what? Did not just fight Sylvain? Oh, what is this? Do you have Defiant Strength? You have Lance of Void? What the hell? Bro, where was Sylvain? I thought Sylvain was in this tournament. Maybe that was just the last enemy. Okay, get wrecked. We don't just expect him to use the best weapon, the Lance. I know, right? You've done me a great service. You don't care about defending. I mean, you still have to defend yourself with a lance, right? Or with a spear. Like, yeah, you have more reach. But that's the other thing is like, because you have a pole arm, like that can also be used to defend yourself, right? Professor. Some slightly too spicy meatballs, I know. Once the enemy has firearms. We need Fire Emblem, but with guns. <laughs> and no, I'm not talking about XCOM. Away with your pole arm. I mean, more just like, yeah, yeah, like sweeping the we a weapon away with your pole arm. Okay. We have a Gimp's Thunderbrand. Well, we have like a second copy of it, right? And if they're down, they're easier targets. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, obviously, if you're wearing armor, then like. Yeah, you might have weak points, and if you're like wrestled to the ground, then yes, you're you're kind of in a lot of trouble then. But like, just don't get wrestled to the ground, right? You like a dragon game? Professor. Oh crap. Um, well, sure, fine. But I should have just looked at that and noticed. Um, one sec, let me actually reset that. Because I needed to have noticed that that was going to happen, and then not done that. The wasted motivation. I know, right? We could have gotten so much tutoring on this unit. But like, Riker the Third, what you said is also true of unarmored people. And then you also have percussive weapons. I, okay, like having armor, like, okay, people are like, oh, like, you know, Fire Emblem says hammers are effective against you and maces are effective against you. Okay, like a like a mace hitting your bare skin isn't going to like kill you, you know? <laughs> Fighting styles with no weakness. I mean like think about why the world isn't at ruin right now. I mean like maybe you could argue like dropping a ton of nukes on someone is a fighting style without any weakness, but it has diplomatic consequences. Right? Like, I guess the, the weakness is that they could be doing the same thing, right? Like, you know, yes, it's not a one-on-one -on -one fighting style, but it's still, like, something you can do with the military. Armor's out to care about their... Okay, yeah, fair enough, but, like... I'd like, you know, ideally, that's that's the idea. Um, what? I thought Sylvain was in this tournament. I guess not. Crossbows have enough stopping power to make heavy armor worth it. Yeah, yeah. Chance to grow. Yeah, crossbows were enough, weren't they? Most times. Holding nuclear weapons is the best defense against nuclear weapons. Yeah. 
That is that. It's that and like having like hold on a sec, I need to probably turn this down somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna lose this, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Look at that. I just realized, like, I just, I did, I hit A and then I did the math. <laughs> and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Around who has nukes? Yeah, like, basically, like, nu nu nuclear weapons are the weapons so powerful, the only counter is diplomacy. Like, literally, that's the only way to counter it. <laughs> Having nukes is like having movement plus three. I mean, it's like a little bit more than that. Just a little bit. Only words. Bruh. Can we load? Thank you. Should I have held back? This is loading screen. I was like, seriously? Okay, I need to redo the math whenever I fight the hero. Nice. A chance to grow. I shouldn't have gunpowder in castles, yeah. Whoa, it happened again. We canceled him. A nuke is a crit ballista with splash damage. I mean, it's more like... Hold on a sec, I need to... There we go. Meteor. Okay, imagine if I could just, like... You guys are, like... Relating to how it could be at a chapter, right? Nuke is a Geosphere. Here's the thing, like, Geosphere hits the chapter. Meteor hits the chapter. Imagine if I just had a button, like, right here or something that was, like, deploy nuke, and then it sends me straight to the epilogue. That's basically what a nuke is. <laughs> like, that. that's more like what a nuke is, right? Forget what it does on the map. It's, like, literally what it does. What does it do over the course of the entire campaign? Right? Just literally, all right, it's over. Yeah, no, it's a credit warp. That's what that's what a nuke is. It's a credit warp. <laughs> hey there. Right, I mean, that's basically what happens, right? <laughs> Someone discovered the credit warp and then it got banned. Professor? Epi, yeah, Epi One has a nuke. Um, But that's what happened in history. Yeah, someone discovered the credit warp, and then we went on to the next one, and then we argued for a while over whether or not it should be banned, and now it's banned. <laughs> but there's no credit warp in an FA because there's no nukes. <laughs> Beat screaming, technically. True, they have the, the javelins of light. Um, Just make sure. Okay, Leonie's thing is over there. There's a quest over here. I think it's like someone wants to deliver a love letter to, like, Alois, or who is this? Do you have time for a request? Um, I can't do that, really. I'm not going to have time. Maybe in Chapter 11 I'll have time. And apparently true. That's what they should have done. What the hell is this? Oh, that ring. Ah, he said he, he also... Anti-missile system? True. I guess we have those. Do we? Kind of. I don't actually know. Like, I don't actually know whether or not, like, ICBM interception, how good that stuff is in, like, the real world. Isn't a credit warp. It just opens the credits, right? The waifu anti-missile system. Intercontinental ballistic mommies. I don't know. All right. Everyone's, like, all sad and being apologetic to me. Ugh! Someone lost this item. Was it you? Have, it's about the weapon that killed Jared. It was. It wasn't. Who could miss? No. That Wait. What? What the hell was it? What was that item called? Where, Where did you find that? That can hit in a whole army. Yo, okay, though, in mythology, natural flow of Epi Phantom powers, I had to go from drip to nukes. 
<laughs> Intercontinental ballistic bombings. Okay. Well, what was it? Okay. And like, whoa. What are you doing, bro? Wait, what are you doing? Um, anyway. <laughs> I knew we should have never made a nuke in the first place. Yeah. What is it? Um, like in, in old mythology, right? Professor. Like in, um, in like Jesuit mythology, right? Yeah, Sus Hubert. Like, y'all think these magic swords we got are crazy. What about those like magic sword? Like, I think it's the, like the Book of Enoch or the Book of Jubilees or something, which is this like 4,000 year old book about this guy there's this guy called enoch who's mentioned in like genesis chapter 5 right and then there's this whole like 60 chapter ancient book about him uh and then at some point god gives him this like magic sword and then he goes to heaven and like literally no i'm dead this is literally in the book of enoch like in this four thousand year old book like god gives him this sword and then he like goes to heaven where there's this war against demons and literally with every swipe of his sword he kills a myriad of demons, which is like 10 million demons or something. Like, literally, that's what, like, old-timey mythology was like. Like, forget about killing a whole army with one spell, all right? We're talking about a magic sword. <laughs> yeah. Book of Enoch is the biblical equivalent. Yeah, no, he's just, like, he just has this magic sword, and, like, every time he swings it, he kills a myriad of demons. <laughs> like, and he's just up there for, like... Uh, a few years or something just swinging the sword and like myriads of myriads of demons go down like i actually i can't remember if he killed a myriad of demons or a myriad of myriad of demons every time he swung the sword <laughs> so it's that one scene in berserk i guess i've not read berserk but maybe but yeah old mythology is wild like that where it's like oh here you go It's like, what does the sword do? It's like, we got to kind of up the stakes from last time, right? The hundred manslayer. Yeah. You're be going to be brushing up on my Enoch lore. Book of Enoch is wild. I haven't read all of it, but I've read some of it. Berserk would make some pretty dark mythology. This part of Berserk where like 1v100 some dudes. Oh no. Like, I think there's some... Like, there, there's a couple characters in Book of Enoch, and I don't know um, which was written first, the Book of Deuteronomy or the Book of Enoch. Um, but the Book of Deuteronomy, it lays out this kind of, like, ritual where you, like, send two sheep into the world. Like, every year or so, you send, like, two sheep into the wilderness, and it's like, one of them is for Azazel, and the other one is for Sabyaza. And it doesn't tell you anything about who these people are. Um, Son of a Gnor, Gnor were nuked. <laughs> yeah, it turns into Pillars of Salt. It was just a volcano? I don't know. But the Book of Deuteronomy, it lays out this, like, ritual where you send out, like, two sheep into the wilderness for Azazel and some Yaza. And they're not really elaborated upon who they are, except in the Book of Enoch. I can't remember which one came first, Book of Enoch or Book of Deuteronomy. I really can't remember. Um, look for clothing and armor that breathe better. I have no idea, but I also don't care because it's Dimitri. Ugh, gross. Guy can give a man the magic sword. Why are there still demons? In I look, dude, I don't know, okay? It was a long story. There's, like, a lot of... There's, like, a lot of demons, okay? Like, if he's... Like, if, he's, if he swings a sword and there's still... And, like, kills a myriad of demons and there's still some left, there must have been a lot to begin with, okay? Um, I, I don't really... I can't exactly remember all the lore behind it. Why there was... Possible. But it, it was around the time when, like, uh... Because some demons use lances. True. They just paid someone to clean up the demons part-time. <laughs> Hello there. Well, doesn't it doesn't it state that Enoch, like... He didn't... He didn't die, didn't he? I think Enoch, like... It says in the book of Genesis he went to heaven. Hold on a sec. Genesis chapter 5. Like, doesn't Genesis chapter 5 say that Enoch, like, went to heaven, though? Hold on a sec. I don't want NIV. Give me RSV. There we go. Much better. There it is. Chapter 21. 
Altogether, Enoch lived a total of 365 years. Enoch walked faithfully with God, then he was no more because God took him away. And then, yeah, the book of Enoch is like what happens here afterwards. But. God plays on maddening, but same turn reinforcements on every map. Enoch is just sitting on the square. That's how it happens. God plays Luna Plus. <laughs> There we go. It's just it's just the average like warriors game, right? Or Moso game or whatever it is. When I looked it up, Methuselah son of Enoch. No. Oh, maybe it was. Maybe it was Methuselah and not Enoch. When I looked up Methuselah son of Enoch was given a magic sword inscribed. Was Methuselah or was it Enoch who lived longer than any other human? I literally closed it because they tell just how long they lived in all those verses. Hold up. Oh, yeah, no. Never mind. Yeah, because Enoch was here for a short time. He was only here for 365 years. Yeah, Methuselah lived for 969 years. Yeah, forget about that. No way Enoch was the oldest one. He only lived 365 years. What a noob. I remember, yeah, it was Methuselah. Music like buses need four health bars. All right, let's pull these. Yo, speed carrot, nice. Oh, what trash. Okay, we gotta we gotta level up our professor level. It's fine. Solo run apotheosis. Yeah, no. Okay, how many is a myriad? Is a myriad like ten million or is it ten thousand? I can't remember. Either way, it's a lot of demons to kill with one sword with like one sword swipe, right? How many did you kill? You said nine hundred thousand demons. All right, um, wait, let's actually figure out what we're going to do with this explore phase, by the way. Let's actually figure out what we're going to do in this explore. Uh, we got to build up motivation on some people. We probably want to cook. We got a couple of tricky paralogs here. Maybe we cook with um, Yuri. We could do like defense fish. We got so many defense fish, man. 10,000. Okay, Myriad is 10,000, my bad. I was, off, I was off by a bit. Box sharpshooter can upgrade this. No. <laughs> plus two speed plus one. I feel like defense plus one is maybe what we want here, right? Actually, what about... No, we can't do strength plus one. Let's not do magic. Let's just do defense. Lies indeed. Maybe. We don't need to recruit anyone else except Linhart. I think we can recruit Linhart, right? I, I think we can just do it right now. Yeah, there's a... A myriad is a specific number. I guess we could, like, go up here and, um, like, gain faith XP on someone who's just Ignas. I don't care about Ignas, bro. I need to go to sleep. I gotta wake up before 10 a.m. Ouch. That's rough. No! No! People have not used the actual number associated with Myriad for like 300 years, though. I mean, I'm sure there's like some nerd somewhere who did, but like, you know. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. When people say Myriad, they just mean a lot. They just mean many. Also, I feel like it's used... Okay, less of like... They never say a Myriad of such and such. They they say like Myriad such and such. Like we would say Myriad demons, and Myriad is just a adjective to say like many. It's like a dramatic way to say many, I think. Go to the power scaling community. They probably actually use myriad power. Oh, God, power scale. I mean, okay, like, I I get it. It's a hobby. There, there are myriad reasons to not using numbers, literally. There you go. Yeah, that, that's how people would use the word. I don't know. Like, from time to time, um, like, I'm in a couple other discords for some other games I do. One of them is, like, a Star Wars discord. And from time to time, we get someone come in here and try to, like, power scale the characters. And it's like, brah, like... <sighs> we're here to talk about this video game. And it's like, but could this guy beat this guy? I'm like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, this isn't a, like, an anime or whatever. It's a Star Wars video game. So give me the moon god, killed you Kimochi, the harvest goddess, because he was grossed out by her pulling a feed. Whoa, I mean, I would be too, to be honest. 
the death battle podcast to talk about Darth Vader versus Edelgard. <laughs> that a word named Myriad existed. Wait, wait, like seriously? I mean, like, okay, it's not, it's not a very common word, right? Like, it's really not a, yeah, impossible. It's not a very common word, but I have a feeling that, like, I feel like most native English speakers would have heard it, like, at least one point, and like, would know what it means. I mean, I'm just curious. Yeah, yo, what's up, Grandma Kill? Uh, and again, this isn't to like belittle you and your language education or whatever. I was just like, I'm genuinely curious. Is it a word that you hadn't encountered before? Like, this isn't to say, ha ha, look how dumb you are. I was just curious. Alright, um, what do I want to do, actually? Let's take a look. So, build the motivation. Like, I said, I've said this like three times. What do I want to do? Build the motivation. Is there anyone I can, like, build support with that, like, that matters? Uh, we'll take some time. Cyril, maybe. Constance, maybe. Uh, I think I have C plus Linhart. How would you even begin to power scale that? See, like, Edelgard has Vantage. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like the word Myriad isn't a word I actively think about, but it's one thing you hear. I know I've heard it before. But, like, when someone says it, you know what they mean, right? Even, even like, through context clues. And again, like, let me make this clear. I'm not saying this is a way to, like, belittle your language knowledge. It's just, like, I'm just curious. Um... Oh, I need the C support with Marianne, don't I? Oh, that's that actually that's actually important. Hold up. Don't you need C support with Marianne? And can't you only build it in part one? I think I need to get on that. Professor? The Spice Festival? I have a feeling Marianne hates all of these. Never mind. Um, wait, no, that's Swedish. Whoa, she likes that one. There are a lot of fights where power scaling is scuffed, but people still do it, yeah. Um, Mary and Sylvain must have support, right? I, I want to build up the C support with Marianne. That's the main thing. Like, I just realized I kind of need to do that at some point. And now seems like as good a time as any. Oh, wow. She supports Ferdinand and Sylvain. I had no idea. All three of the all three of the redhead cubs. Interesting. Well, not today's special quote menu. I should win like sauteed jerky. Power scaling debates for video games basically just come down to this character defeated this guy canonically, so that means he's really powerful. Yeah, or like this person has this special power, which means he's immune to everything except this, and this person does or does not have this. It's like, ugh. Like, ugh. You know? Or to really convey a large amount. Yeah, yeah. It, it, like, it's, it's really antiquated, but people use it as like a dramatic way. People use it when they're being, like, dramatic. That block's unblockable, so how does one analyze that? I don't know, man. Like... <laughs> every time I see these, I'm like... What? Just... I like Can we talk about something that, like, actually has numbers attached to it, right? You know? <laughs> like, can't we? Like, what, what was it? I think it was... Oh, crap. I pulled my monitor. Um... I think it was yesterday. Mute, um, his mute speed ran, uh, right into normal yesterday. Yeah, which was a great run, by the way. If you haven't seen it, it was on Girls Go Fast. Uh, I think I, I posted it in my Discord. Um, yes. Wow. Right on time. <laughs> I was like, I posted it in my Discord and the stream elements bot on the 30, on the 30 minute timer comes in with that. Yeah, you did great in that run, but I think, um, we were talking about it and no, it's like, Jill on all the uh, <laughs> Goku beat HIV. Yeah, no, Mute did a really great job. A really fantastic run. Uh, but you know, like it's all the it's all like Jill on the Dawn Brigade maps and Har on the Radiant Dawn maps, or not on the on the Do on the Grail Mercenary maps. And we're talking about Jill and Har, and I think the host the I think the host asked us like who would like who who would win in a fight, Jill or Har? And I think they expected us like think about it a bit. It was like not nah, easy, bro. <laughs> like easiest question of my life. The host was unfamiliar with Fire Emblem. Like they knew, they knew the run, of course, and they, like saw what we were doing. Asked those questions, like, "Oh, easy." <laughs> Snap response: Easy. Got to be hard. Whoa. Yeah, it was a really fun run. I was very glad to be part of that. 
Har would win, maybe. Har has like way more hit points. Like, does, okay. At pretty much any point in the game, the organizer's name is Jill. Yeah, that was really funny because she told us afterwards. She was like, I thought you guys were talking about me the whole time. <laughs> Har is always sleeping. Exactly. Imagine if he wasn't sleeping. Har, if he wasn't sleeping. <laughs> um, I probably want to buy, what, Pale Blue? I bet I already have some, but I'm just going to buy some anyway. Yeah, that was a really fun run. Thanks a lot for the invitation to that, by the way. But he doesn't double R us. <laughs> and? I actually think Awake Har would lose all of his stats. Yeet. <laughs> if he was awake, he would become less powerful. Maybe that is the case. Um, Hold on. Let, let me check if I got the uh, Marianne support. Okay, I got somebody. Oh, I got Marianne Ferdinand. Let's see it, actually. Oh, right. I remember this. Right. He built, like, a statue of her or something, right? Double Asher with White Pool and do half her health. Yeah, no. Um, oh, it's pretty important. Don't I need to uh, pick up a Beginner Seal, too, for Marianne one day? Um, maybe I can just, like, get her a gift or a lost Hello item. There. Actually, I have her lost items hanging around somewhere, I think. Also, let's just buy these. This one, yes. I think this one, yes. I th this one, yes. I th this one, yes. I th this one, yes. I think... By the way, hey, guys, I said before, I got a new headset. Please tell, like, just tell me directly right now. Sound, how is it? Too loud, too quiet? This one, yes. Like, please just tell me directly. Because I, this one, yes. I, I soon, actually please. need to know these things. Hey, welcome. I have no way of judging. Triangle attack can one round Astra. Ooh, can it though? Can it truly? This one, yes. Um, that's normal. I have to reduce in the arena. Yeah, okay, good. My intuition in the arena was correct then. This one, yes. Just buy a few of these, right? This one, yes. Return soon, please. Only me with a forged sword named Walker <laughs> could potentially beat Har. She could maybe do it with a Worm Slayer. I don't know. Call it a hunch. But I think she could do it with a Worm Slayer. Oh, why, why repair? Her Astra gets like pentakilled on turn one. Oh, God. Like, and all the Auras, or. We could forge a Killer Bow Plus. That'd be kind of funny. 35 crit. That's actually not bad. Let's do it. Let's do, two, let's do Killer Bow Plus, right? There we go. Anytime. Where the hell is Marianne? I'm feeling sad, so she's like perfect company for me right now. There she is. Everything and Ashra five times. Good God. Professor? Professor? Ooh. What's my sword rank right now, by the way? C plus? Okay. No cheats. Professor, they're saying she leave it alone, Hilda. It doesn't matter. That would be What a strange conversation. Why are we like people are bullying Marianne? It's like, yeah, they're I don't know. Yes. Next paint, large physique. Letter to the goddess. Ooh. Who daydreams about the goddess? Ooh. Ooh. Scandalous. Okay. Let's just get it over with. It's pretty handy triangle attack. I mean, they could wield Worm Slayer, right? So. And there's actually, like, dragons it's effective against. That generally makes it pretty good. Uh, what was I doing with my life? Right, okay, so, I mean, this is kind of like a... There's really not much to do. Which is what makes this so difficult. What do I even do with this? Do I do like faculty training maybe? I could do that for what? Heavy armor? 
flying, perhaps? Who knows? I mean, I can just use gifts to raise the motivation, right? All four pegs? Oh my god. We spent some renown here. Is there anything good we can get? We have 2,000 points for renown. Damn. Okay. Marianne. All right, but we have all of these guys, so watch this be not Yuri. There's a one in three chance. Oh, it is Yuri. Let's go. Um, he has like something here. Oh, that's his. Gifts. Uh, what is he like? Here's the pentakill. Let's take a look. I'll open it up later. Right now, I need to do the uh, gifts for the uh, Yuri guy. Gifts and lost times. I just need to know his disliked gifts. Book of sheet music and riding boots. Kind of makes sense. Wait, what? He hates book of sheet music? What? Legends of chivalry. Um, hunting dagger is something that like a lot of my guys like. Though, let me just give him that. Okay. I I, I vaguely remember most of my people's liked um, list of enjoyed items, and I don't remember legends of chivalry being on it for like basically anybody. So I'm pretty happy giving him that for 25 motivation. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to use up my activity points on this. Maybe Sana. I guess I got Sana Leone since I'm getting a support with her midway through the week. That could be handy. Um, What about the training? I guess I could do this too. There's like the house versus house bow. Um, I have death blow on someone, right? Vasquez Zero. Welcome in. Thanks so much for the follow. Probably want to reclass if I'm going to do that. Probably just something like Armored Knight. Better give Marianne B support just to be sure. To be honest, like, I think so. Don't, do you need C to unlock the Paralog or do you need B? I think you need B, but C is the one that's, like, time-gated. Is it not? I could look. Like, if B is not time-gated, then I'm not going to worry about it. Um, let me check out his abilities, by the way. I'm sure he has bow. I'm pretty sure he has bow. He's got bow, death bow. Okay, he's got everything he needs. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. It's C. Okay, good in a tribolical. Where's the comic? Where's the awkward zombie comic? Yeah, here you go. Claude, get in the heavy armor. <laughs> That's how you win every tournament, right? Yeah, just get in the heavy armor. Or in the class with fair, time. right? What do we get here? Advanced seal? Wow, that's not even worth it. We get 3,000 gold for winning this, basically. Oh, and, and a lot of Professor EXP, though. Oh, no. Oh, wait, we don't double. No. What will we do? Actually, she's tank she's dodgy too. Look at that. We only got 80 hit. It's fate. How did she have so much void? Oh, she had a she had a void plus 10? How did she get a void plus 10? Random enemy shining bow hand to be fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here you go, just in case. No, it's not. Oh my god, he does five damage. Yo, it's the Felix personal. Felix personal mattering, it's Petra, of course, she dodgy. Yeah, how? But range plus two, Shamir? Exactly. No, we took five damage. All right, thanks, squad. Very cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, um, hmm. Oh, so I do at some point want to recruit Felix, right? Don't I? Let me check my uh, let me check my schedule. Yeah, so I want to recruit Felix by the very at the very latest next uh, thing, right? Oh, let me open up my chat. That'd be handy. Um, whoa, hold on. What's this? Thank you. I like playing with Fortress Knight Hanneman. Oh yeah, no. Um, why do I have so few activity points? What? Are, oh, I spent them on one thing and then cooking and then a meal and then something else. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably sauna. I could sauna or okay, like what do I actually get from sauna? 
Like, what are your weapon levels? Let me open them up. Does she really even benefit from sauna? I guess I could, like, get her closer to... Ugh. What would I even do with sauna? Probably just, like, train her bows and then hope that, like, she would go out the armor being absolute chad since FE12. Yeah. FE, uh, FE4, I saw it. Don't generals get bows in FE4? How does sauna work in this? Um, like, how does the minigame or how does the benefit? The benefit from sauna... Like, I, I could... The minigame is something different. Let's just talk about the benefit. The benefit from sauna is that they get a buff. And then every time you get instructed in something, uh, you get plus two or plus four, depending on the buff. So it's kind of like pretty big. And I'm doing Leone because she's getting a support midway through. More instructed. I, I can, I, for students, it might either be plus one or plus two. I know for Byleth... Um, like, a faculty training that would normally give 20 would give 24 for Byleth. But also, like, on on Byleth, he just gets a lot. Or she, he or she, whatever, just get a lot anyway. It might be doubled. It might be uh, plus one on an instruct for students, and then plus two if you got the good buff. Bow armor, Wolf and Sedgar, and FE11. True. FE4 and 5 is bow armor. I love bow armor. Yeah, no. Um, if I used it, I would probably just, like, put a bunch of bow rank on her. I have a feeling... Okay, so first off, she's gonna hit, like, sea flying no matter what, right? So I don't need to worry about that. Uh, what about her axe rank? She's gonna hit C plus axes with goal too, right? Provide this enough for bio to get from E to D with three perfects instead of four. He's just rigging flying or riding or, or armor too, yeah, no. All three of those. Speaking of which, what, what would a faculty train on Byleth? Because I have basically, like, well, two now. Um, two days to faculty train. Authority? Maybe? No, I could seminar authority, right? Like, that wouldn't even be too bad. I could just seminar it. Like, it, it, it kind of sucks having C-plus authority. Do I do I want to faculty train that, though, or do I want to seminar? Magic and sword rank? Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean... It wouldn't be that bad, to be honest with you. And so, couldn't the seminar actually get me, like, no, 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 there's no way it could get me faith. I'm actually, I think I'm one away. If I perfect a seminar, no, 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 no. If I perfect a seminar for, not a seminar, if I perfect a faculty training for faith, I actually unlock heal. Heavy armor for weight minus three. I'm a bit far away from that. Unironic, Mortal Savant is good. It's better than Enlightened Run unless you only ever use swords. True. You get that uh, dark, you get that black tome for him. Heavy armor for weight minus three is pretty good, though. I don't know if I'm going to be in Hero or in Armored Knight for some of these paralogs. Uh, do I even need weight minus three? I got like 29 strength. That's actually a lot. Like, that. that's a lot of strength. Also, you lose the Krung Eos sword stance. Ugh. I kind of like that sword stance, so I'm not going to lie. Um, gosh, this is tricky. What would I even faculty train? Do you have a unique weapon stance tier list? I'd be scraping the bottom of the barrel if I ever did that. What? I, okay, what actually do I faculty train? Um, gosh, who gives off, though? It's like... Said it. That's it. I think I got a faculty train off then. Bow? No way. I don't want curve shot. Authority armor? I could do authority armor. It's pretty interesting. Literally all opinion. Bows to recruit Mercedes. We could talk about Mercedes Caspar paralog, actually. That's an option. Is it not? I'm kind of like this run past chapter two. That's right, Tactile Banshee. It's crazy. I've only been streaming it like, you know, where's my spear? 
What? Oh, it's an act? Yeah, you got a hand axe now. Six months turned into a hand axe badge. You upgraded from spear to hand axe. <laughs> SEI aimed? What? S C A M D. Oh. <laughs> Beating the Death Knight with Casper and that Paralog results in you getting the Scythe. True. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Because also, I might be able to get Caspar. It looks like a recruitment Rex. For Caspar. For, I think, okay, I might just literally be able to get Caspar. Like, I don't even think I need to build any supports. Caspar. Where the hell is Caspar? Oh, in the Black Eagles section. Pen Strength and Sea Brawling. Uh, we're basically there. Uh, Mercedes, 15 magic and sea bow. Uh, we're basically there. We're gonna need a lot of bow rank, though. Ignore the A-lances. <laughs> I mean, Ferdinand could get there, but, you know, Ferdy who? Let's talk about it. Oh, and, and don't forget the two amazing battalions. Don't forget the two amazing battalions. Okay, um... Support can lower the bow level, right? Yeah, 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 we can do it. How, okay, how much do we need, though? We need a lot. We need, like, B support, just to bring it up to D+. And then what? Ugh. I guess we could maybe, like, Shamir... Ah, oh, Shamir Seminar is so trash, though. Like, both of the Seminars that give me bow rank are, like, terrible. Church soldiers pog you exactly. Also, wait, I, I mean, Gamir Seminar for Lance Bow could be nice for like Leone, and that's basically it. Not to be confused with Church of Sarah. So, Church of Sarah soldiers are way better than Church soldiers. Church soldiers suck, bro. They are so bad. They are the worst battalion in the game. Are they the worst battalion in the game? They can't be worse than Alliance Physicians, right? Here we go looking up these again. Every time I want to have a giggle, I'll look these up. Oh, I mean, the thing, okay, uh, this is probably erroneous thinking, but I'm like, if Leone already has like full motivation, it's kind of like a feels bad to do a seminar. Are Thieves a good battalion? Let me look up Thieves, actually. I know you get them for free, right? I like, okay. Wait, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Two, two physical, five hit, five avoid, two pro. They're like, okay. Seth Lean Monks is right there. Thieves are Saros Monks with, or uh, Saros Mercs with Endurance. So they have less hit and less physical than Saros Mercs, but they also have five avoid. Okay. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of fine losing 5 hit for 5 avoid. I don't mind it at that point. I, I actually don't mind it at that point. Right? Like... Getting avoid if you're also getting hit, that's cool. If you're only getting avoid and you're not getting hit, it's like, bro, what are you doing? Hold up. Church, so <laughs> Church soldiers. A, a C well, hold on a second. C rank, so maybe this is not bad. Three magic, five hit, six res. I mean, like, to be honest, as far as C-rank bats go, uh, Church Soldiers isn't even, like, that bad. It's got resonant white magic. That's lean monks. I mean, Seth lean monks at least have hit plus 20. Burgley's war group. Maybe it's Burgley's war group that sucks. Oh god. B rank battalion. Eight physical, five hit. Five hit, bro. Minus ten avoid, four pro. Yeah, get out of here. We're even talking about Gaspar. Oh, Gaspar Knight. I remember looking at Gaspar Knights and like, it's bad for the time you get them. But they're not like bad, right? Gaspar Knights, the B rank ones. Five physical, five hit, minus five avoid, five prot, seven. Okay, these are pretty bad. Yo! 
if we've got the online battalion uh the um sr research group yeah they're that's insane that's like that's cheating that's actually like a cheat code battalion okay so here's the thing right five physical five magic plus again yeah, exactly so here, here's the thing about gaspard knights right now you might look at them and be like okay so gaspard knights at level five right five physical five hit minus five avoid five prot seven charm not very great but you might say ah you know at b rank by the way let's say at b rank okay not very great but you might say ah, at least it's stats here's the thing that's their level 5 stats. You know what they get at level 1? You know what Gaspard Knights gets at level 1? What are you working with as you're leveling this battalion up? You ready for this? A B rank battalion gives you... 1 physical. 0 hit. Minus 5 avoid. 1 prot. <laughs> they get... One point per level in each of those stats. Like, you know, sometimes you get a randomly bad battalion and you're like, eh. I mean, like, it's not great, but at least it's some stats, right? No, this one you have to level it up to five. Like, you've got to level it up to five, right? Oh my god. It's so bad. Varley Archers go to part two for plus two physical B rank. I used to really like Varley Archers, but yeah, no, they're kind of bad. Uh, the, the E rank Gaspard Knights is an enemy only battalion. It's the, the B rank Gaspard Knights is from the Ash Paralog. Um, so I think I do just sauna Leone here and I'll figure out what I want later, but I do want to sauna Leone. Ooh. This is our Western fan service right here. I make this joke every time. I need to stop making it. It's kind of tripe. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. You go into the sauna with one student. And basically what happens is um, you click either of these buttons to increase like the steam level or whatever. And um, it might happen here. Dude, Byleth is not cooperating here. Oh, they both feel refreshed. Thought it is pure RNG. Is it actually just pure RNG? There's not like something innate to the character? What? Both of them show up chapter 3. I don't think anyone has the B rank. The Steam level. Okay, so like... So it's basically blackjack, right? Like... You hit, and you have to go as high as you can without going over. What is that bar thing? I've reset done it again. It's literally random. Okay, but when I was saunaing Flame the other time, I did it like eight times in a row. And every time she exploded before Byleth ever hit the bar. Um, basically, you're trying to get the bar into the like high region, but if it goes too high, then they like explode and it's a disaster, basically. Oinus probably had the same range of heat tolerance. The support rank effects. Whoa. Booker213 with the information. I had no idea. Um... Anyway, if you get both if you get both people really high without anyone exploding, then you get the you get the plus two buff. If only one person gets really high on the bar, then you get the plus one buff. And then if neither of them, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Such a stupid head. It's because no one documented anything about the sauna. I mean, it's basically blackjack, right? Please tell me I saved after finishing this good sauna with Leone. And then saving them from overheat as well. Oh, true, yeah, because sometimes you get overheated and then you explode, except you actually don't. There's just like a random chance that you get overheated, but you're like, nah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty obscure. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was literally like, I started talking about it and then I just like ran off somewhere. Okay, so we gotta redo sauna. I mean, whatever, we'll probably get it ready. You get an RNG save, yeah. You can just redo it. 
But as you can see, like basically you try and get the orange bar within the green without getting into the red, essentially. It's all rigging, yeah. Just wait till we just wait till after this we start doing the faculty training. Leone has warmed up and feels really good. Phyllis. God, he's such a man. Withstanding the heat. Yeah, see, Byleth didn't fill up too high. Going to the bathroom, do they mean like the baths? Or the... <laughs> Putting more RNG abuse in an RNG abused playthrough? So you don't have to RNG abuse as much when you RNG abuse. I mean, when you put it that way, I didn't really like. I didn't really think about why or like what the effect is. I'll, like, I'm gonna be honest. When I look at game mechanics, I'm just like, what does this give me? This gives me plus like tutoring on Leone. Okay, great. Well, I'm just gonna do it because I want plus tutoring on Leone, basically. About the Lou? No, come on. I don't believe you. Derink, I don't believe you. That is so outlandish. I don't know. Maybe there's something I fundamentally misunderstand about like Japanese culture or something, but that seem that seems too out there. And never getting a perfect instruct on Byleth, I know, right? Okay. Hey there. Anyway, we got the good instruct. And what, what we're gonna see now is um I'm gonna instruct authority, by the way. The on yeah, yeah, it's some kind of like bathhouse thing, maybe. Like what they had in Fates. You know, everyone has swimsuits and towels. Excuse me. But that's too hot for the Westerners. Ooh. Showing off too much, um... Anyway, um, let's train off. I think so, right? Yeah, see, the buff we're getting in... You can see it over there. Let me, let me turn this off real quick. There you go. Very refreshed. So because I went to the sauna, I have the very refreshed buff. Anton is just all nude because that's the culture. I see. Marshall Dragon, what's up? We're doing some faculty training. Watch this. For, hold on, so we, gotta, we gotta save though. Wait, no, if we don't save, it's gonna be first try. Check this out. Oh my god, how much do you how much do you have to say to me? What I, never mind. I thought the sauna thing was a finished thing in origin. Sa uh, sauna itself is, right? I don't know if they have saunas in Japan in Japan. I don't really know. I mean, like, or, th or if they have them, or if it was something that they, like, imported from the West, or if it was an idea that originated there. Or, you know, like, like they came up with saunas, and the Finnish came up with saunas, and then, like, yep, <laughs> resetting for the perfect faculty. By the way, welcome in, Marshmallow Dragon. Good to have you in. What is this emote? Hell's Hot Wave? Nice, nice, nice. Okay, at least I saved after the... Yeah, why am I resetting for a perfect faculty, by the way? I'm getting B rank authority. Like, okay, literally this doesn't matter until A rank authority. So why am I even resetting for a perfect faculty here? Like, I don't, I don't think it actually matters. Both. It was as if right? How they matter. Like, does this matter? There's no way it matters. I remember reading that must have been a horrible fan translation. There, I must have been. And the original concept is saying an actual bath with the units. Like a bathhouse type thing. I mean, that's like kind of believable. Like, I look, literally, authority XP is irrelevant until A, and it's not. It's not like the what is it? The seventeen extra authority XP I get is gonna matter, right? Like, come on, just go, just go to B. I don't care about not getting the perfect there. Now what? What else do I want? Didn't I want? Uh, what was it? What did I need here? Um, ah, bow rank. Okay, do we actually do bow rank for Mercedes? Because the whole Mercedes Caspar paralog thing is like an interesting idea. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'd do it. Or do I want like do I want something like heavy armor? Get get closer to that weight minus three. I might actually just hold on a second. Japanese culture really take a nude bath. It depends on the onsen. It's not weird. It's just how the culture goes. I mean, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. It's just a thing. Uh, I mean, well, on, here's the thing. Honestly, with brawling, we'll probably just get it at some point. 
But bows is like, I mean, I don't, I don't use bows on this unit. I don't use bows. I guess I could theoretically. If it's talking about buying able to take back to the opposite sex suits, now we gotta talk. Ooh. Yo, hold on a sec though. It is the Onsen minigame. But it's only same sex students. Ooh. Suddenly another difference between male Byleth and female Byleth. Yeah, what actually do I train here, though? I mean, there's no reason it's... There's no way it's, like... Sword Brawl. I could probably get C Brawling from, like, a Catherine Seminar. The concept was revived because they originally only going to let female by the faith of female students and vice versa. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. It's, like, something like that. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, that feel like, kind of feels bad. Another Another gender difference. I don't know if that would even do anything to, like, change the balance between the two genders of Byleth. You can still sauna post time. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can sauna post time skip. I haven't... I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done part two monastery and, like... Holy crap. It may have been more than a year since the last time I've done a part two monastery. I'm not even exaggerating. Like literally since the last time I visited monastery part two might be over. Okay, like never mind. In draft race, I went and like did the Anna quest to buy Anna items. So I guess that's like a lie. It may be over a year since the last time I spent an activity point in a monastery in part two. Like a real, a real life year. Um, by the way, I'm just gonna train bow. Actually, no, Bowland Seminar maybe is like still good. I didn't bother to play the part two. Oh no. Um I'm just gonna do like a bow lance seminar at some point. Dang. Um Actually heavy armor isn't a bad teach. Wait, all the heavy armor instructors are gone, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. Okay, well, I gotta find something else to do then. Uh, must be bow. Let's go, let's go and teach bow. Oh, Shamir's out, right. Oh, is Shamir, like, not... Did I not bring Shamir to the mission? I can still do Ash Catherine Paralog, right? Hold on a sec. What if I can't do Ash... I, I must be able to do Ash Catherine Paralog, right? I... Okay, I can just do Balthus Happy if I end up getting, like, really stuck. I think in my first playthrough, I actually got move plus one on Byleth with it. Oh, no. Somewhere in chapter 12, chapter 14, where you just get master classes, you are end game ready. So it's like, why am I not skipping the game? Then Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to train, like... Oh. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Train Bow. Weird, though it may sound. Actually... I could do that, or I could like build support points with. I, that doesn't matter. I got gifts. If I wanna, if I wanna do it, I can do gifts. All the heavy armor trainers are out. Uh. Yeah. Hybrid peppers. Now I can be the. Yeah, exactly. It's like I could be the final boss. So why would I do anything else? I mean, I guess that's like a different mentality in RPGs, by the way. Okay, I already, I already know that I'm training bows. It's like a different mentality in RPGs, though, right? Some people, when they play RPGs, they want to, like, unlock everything. Some people, like, you tell them, oh, you can just beat the final boss now. They don't care. They're not going to go beat the final boss. Because why would they? Like, they haven't, they haven't unlocked everything yet. So, of course, they're going to do, like, part two monastery. What interesting things can I unlock in part two? I don't know, like sword fair or like a, like a fair skill or move plus one, I guess. Effect null. <laughs> offensive tactics, hit plus 20. Uh, is offensive tactics, is that hit plus 20, but for gambits only? 
maybe a mastery. I don't know. People like that. You could um you could forge all of the regalia. You know, you could farm a bunch of mithril and forge the regalia, maybe. Tea party, yeah, you could tea party up someone's charm. You mon we can't I've always you're a very I might plus five. Okay, that's pretty good though. Like you might plus five. Oh my god, bro. Gonna be here for ages. I should maybe check out the Saint statues too. Maybe no, 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 no. I, sh I should probably be spending renown on items at this point. Either that, or don't I have like ten divine pulses? No, after my after I go to the hair salon, I'm gonna have ten divine pulses. What's a regalia? It's uh the A rank weapons: Mercurius, Gradivus, uh, Parthia, and Haute Claire. They are random drops. Literally, only interesting that interesting thing I can imagine is opera volunteers. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, no, there are um there are four rare weapons in this game. You I you're a Bro. But yeah, no, there's um basically when you go to an auxiliary battle that has a rare monster sighting, the rare monster will drop an item. Occasionally it is a rusted uh sword, lance, axe, or bow that forges into one of Mercurius, Gradivus, Haute Claire, or Parthia. Yeah, yeah, the FU1 weapons. And then you can forge them. I did it for my draft file. It was all no. Brother. Offensive tactics. I mean, it is like a really powerful skill, right? Like, it's a really powerful skill. Is it really, though? Hit plus 20 is basically the same thing. Get bonus skills before. I feel like a lot of people have authority boon, don't they though? I haven't really counted it up, but it feels like number of people that get X boon. I feel like authority is actually relatively common. You, you we can't, I've all, you're Offensive all tactics and hit plus twenty. And um finally. Um the Valkyrie thing, what's it called? Certain blow. Any useless all you get in the game? I mean, like, Gambit hit 20 is still, like, pretty nice, right? I mean, the thing is, like, if you... Even that late in the game, it's, like, not unheard of to miss a Gambit, right? So... Have I recruited Anna yet? When do I recruit Anna? Now? Later? Part 2? Let's do it in Part 2. Let's do a funny, like, Goto Anna type thing. Game to hit 20, why not get all hit 20? Why not get both, you know? Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh, I need to do motivation. In the game, you have like 20 divine pulses. You have 10. I think divine pulses, actually. I'm going to do that later. Gifts. Do I have a lost item for you? She likes the sunflower. Wait, what? I thought she likes the sunflower. Well, if not maddening nerds. Oh, true. Yeah. Probably move was such a disappointment. Bro, they got stride, all right? Like, deal with it. <laughs> like, you're playing the game with stride, and then you're going to complain about rally move, you know? You actually get fewer on maddening. Out of potential if it's sack with stride. Oh, it doesn't sack with stride. I don't know. The way I see it is like, you know, whatever. I'm saying it'd be good, but it'd be funny. Uh, you have some gifts here, I think, right? Oh no, that's uh gifts, right? Lost items. Boom. Oh, never mind. Um, spotless bandage. Armored bear stuffy. Who wouldn't like armored bear stuffy? Told you. Rally moves been decent in one game. Awakening question mark. I mean, Rally Move has only been in three games, right? And only relevant 0% runs, kind of. 18 to 4 beam move Bow Knight, you don't really need it. Yeah, exactly. That's the idea. Um, let's go to Flame. Hey, you. I swear we'll get out of this monastery yet, yeah, guys. We've been here like an hour. If S plus Auth was plus one Gambit charge, which Gambit would it be worth it for? Dance the Goddess. You 
Dance of the Goddess, easy. You could literally dance to the guy. Like, you could, um. Like, you could move somebody, dance them, dance to the goddess. So, like, I could move Byleth, dance Byleth, move Byleth again, dance to the goddess, move Byleth a third time, dance my dance to the goddess, dance to the goddess, move Byleth a fourth time, dance Byleth, move Byleth a fifth time in one turn. An E rank gambit, yeah, exactly. It's the E rank gambit. I mean, like, Stride is fun. I like it. I like Purple Veil. A lot of dancing. Yeah, no, you could just get like five guys over there. Uh, uh, who doesn't like Tasty Baked Treat? What? You don't? Oh, I guess like plus 25 anyway. Uh, getting motivation on Sylvain is like pretty worthless, right? Oh, randomly Catherine and Shamir don't have full motivation. Oh, but I can't. I can't motivate them. Interesting. Eh, well. We're kind of broken in others of three houses. I mean, like, it's here, and I have fun when I use it. Like, I don't really mind text that let you skip a map, right? The map isn't needed for. We're searching for Monica. Yeah, exactly. I should have thought of that when I was able to do, like, dining with the students. Wait, does that mean they're not going to be around to give me a seminar? Ugh. Should have thought of that, too. Need is a strong word. I know, like, what do you what do you need in Three Houses, right? Like, if we're really going there, what do you need? I don't know. Sometimes you just get it right. Um, you need weapons? Do you? Magic. Easy. All right, next. Oh, wait, yeah. How are you getting past Prologue? Stride is nice for facing disappointed in Petro Bernadetta Paralogue. True. You need weapons to get unarmed, or do you? Do you? Do you, though? You could theoretically reach level 10 with just gambits. Really? Yeah, you could. Um, I don't really see anything else I can do to improve my situation here. Like, there are minor improvements. How the hell is I Scythia so high level? I didn't even expect that. I, I know I've asked that before. Gambits use people as weapons. Uh, I think I just get out of here, right? Oh, oh, I need to plant. No, I've already planted. Um, I could like purchase some more black sand steel, I guess. That's like the only thing I can think of. Hello there. Um, oh, and if I purchased all those smithing yes, stones, yes. then I might as well like I think. Return soon, please. forge a weapon. That way, when I do the group task, okay. I technically get some back. Is people a weapon? Good question. Um, let's see here. Did I forge this silver boat plus? I don't really know yet. Yo, I could forge the killing edge. Um, where's something I can forge? I just need some th something to spend some like smithing stones on. What do crescent circles forge with? A Gartham. Huh. That's worth it for sure. Like I'm literally about here, but uh, you know, I was looking for something. Hand axe plus. I mean, like, why not? There you go. Come back anytime. Yeah, what is a weapon? Right? Like, philosophically speaking, what is a weapon? People are one of the strongest weapons. Also, here's the thing, man. If I have, like, you know, 10 or 12 dudes run at you, I'm surprised it doesn't do more damage. Just saying. Yeah, define weapon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Like is a is a instructs manually, by the way. Yeah, I think we need to define weapon here. Um, I wish I had. Then am I a weapon? I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna say if you're like fighting unarmed, you are not using a weapon. I I I would say that you are not using a weapon. A weapon has to be something that like augments what you're able to do. But like le like legally speaking, right? If you like legally speaking, right? Um if you like attack someone with your fists, you get charged with assault. But if you attack someone with like a knife or a gun, then you're charged with assault with a deadly weapon. So attacking someone with your fist must not be a weapon. Then weapons must be tool. It must be like something. Something that you have that like adds like I guess maybe boxing gloves could be a weapon or something, or right? Like or if you Uh, what to do here, by the way? A slice him, it's murder, so fist isn't a weapon. I mean, like... You can still assault someone with a knife. I guess, like, you're going for, like, the, the knife is more lethal. That's what you're going for. Um... First off, let's instruct Leone, because we saw her. I'm just gonna do this. Get her closer to point-blank violet. Oh, I forgot to spend my renown. But it's 2,000 renown. It's not that much. With a deadly weapon? I will I mean, actually, I'm going to go back. I'm, I'm going to spend... That's like 2,000 renown. That's actually a lot of renown I can spend. And I haven't even done anything here. I got a bunch of perfects in a row, but that's it. Well, the word is with a deadly weapon. Okay, fair enough. But, like... If my punches are as deadly as knives, if you need anything, it's a non it's a non-zero hit rate. I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah. You would need that, yeah. I, I feel like, okay. We found something you need is more than zero hit. Let's see if we can spend it on any, like, interesting statues or if we just want to spend it on, like, items. Because I think 2,000 is enough to buy, like, a ring or an accessory. Your punches are as deadly as knives. Generally speaking, knives are more lethal than punches, yes. I could theoretically get Divine Pulse, or I could get um, plus to, like, Axe. This is useless. Axe Authority, maybe. Brawling? I got plus Bow. What about plus Brawling? Let's just get Riding and Divine Pulse, right? This one? You're all set. This one? This one? See you again soon. Not even going to get B. Yeah, that's my punishment. A little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like a little bit better. At least. At least, right? I am Swordbreaker's nice. And then at this point, you can kind of like drop the uh, Lance training for a bit and then probably go into... What do I want for you anyway? I'd probably... Actually, I can just get this real quick. Oh, I forgot to train... What is it? Armor on Ferdinand. Well, at that point, it's like you're you're doing a... Uh, strike damage is better than Slash. Yeah, I probably don't want to, like, be cutting at them with a knife if they're wearing, like, really heavy armor, right? Wow, you got B lances before B axes. Smite, yo. That's right. Oh, we did just get Smite. Um, I was thinking more like 100% Fortnite, sir. But that's also good. I'm about to sneeze. Ooh. 
That was enough. Um, yeah, no, get working on that, basically, right? Ugh. But if you have sharp bones, most people have pretty sharp bones, to be honest. Right? Holy crap, you're actually, like, really close to sea authority, aren't you? Bless you, thank you. Which is more important, training your reason or training your auth? Right? Probably, I mean, right now, you're going to goal out off by the time we get to that point, right? So, it probably doesn't matter, I can probably train your reason. If I can get you to at least B+, plus, and then by the time you hit level 20, you can have like a... Jeez, I was like, I was about to complain about that result, but it's like, it's pretty mid. Right? I shouldn't complain about a result that's probably like, strictly average. You have good enough gambits and read Well, I was thinking I'm going to do goals, and then I'm going to do goals again. Uh, so I'm going to get at least two weeks of goals with Flame. I might even do like a set at the seminar, right? Um... And she's just gonna have C anyway, and that's like that's what matters, right? It's just having C. Actually, B to C doesn't really. I mean, it, never mind. It exists. It, it exists, so like it does matter, right? Um. <laughs> um. Anything interesting you're able to do? You're more important, and so is Yuri, actually. Is there anything even, like, remotely interesting you can do? Don't you need to train fists at some point? Oh, wait, hang on a minute. There's some potential here. Weapon should be an object. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think your own body can be a weapon. And, like, the... Oh, like, in video games, sure. But in, like, the legal... Not the legal definition. In, like, the strict definition of the word weapon. I think it's probably fair to disqualify your body from being a weapon. It needs to be something, like, it needs to be an object. It needs to be some kind of item. For it to count as a weapon. What do I even train these units in, man? I guess I could, like, train Lysithia in something. I want to be the person who's going to get hit by the seminar. Alright, Yuri. Is now the time sick people can go through TSA if their body isn't a weapon? Exactly. Dark Mage on Claude? Ooh. My Dark Mage Claude. I mean, I guess, like, maybe later, but why? Just curious. Um, I don't know what your goals are. Like, literally, all my units are, like, super weird champ, man. Um, you're training... Do you have sword? Let me train your sword rank, actually. This is something that matters. And I can and I can do it, so I should, right? What about bio weapons? I mean, that's still like an item, right? A faith for sign, yeah, yeah, that we should have done that a long time ago, right? Why the hell am I training swords with you anyway? I, I feel like that was some leftover thing from when I wanted to unlock a weird class. Actually, I think I still do want to unlock a weird class. Um, probably could do. Why am I training up armor anyway? Wait, minus. Oh, I'm trying to get weight minus three, right? Um. Something like brawl. No, 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 wrong thing. I want to do. Maybe I hit a button on something when he like asks to be a lord. Poison strike for nemesis. All oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing that. Anyway, um, what am I doing here? It seems like a fine goal for you. You currently have this. You can actually just do full authority now. What do I want for Hilda? Axe flying, I think is correct. What do I want for you? Axe flying, I think is correct. Um. Axe heavy armor would be cool, but you already have like that much defense anyway. Bioweapons would be diseases, correct? I think the bioweapon is the thing that like delivers the disease, right? Like you the disease itself is not the bioweapon. The bioweapon is the thing you use to like you know, like if you if you're in the medieval era and you era and you like put a sick cow in a catapult and you threw it over a wall, then like the cow would be a bioweapon. But I could have... Oh, I could, I could not have instructed them, right? No, but I can still modify their goals. Interesting. I mean, I guess it makes sense. 
And if someone is used as a bioweapon? Hmm. I mean, that raises a point, because by my definition, I think that would qualify. By my criteria, rather. Is Dung Pai a bioweapon? That would definitely be a bioweapon. Don't I need, uh, what is it called? Some authority on you? There you go. Wait, no, 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 wrong, wrong thing. I want a I want auth flying. Uh, anything else here? I don't really think so. The group task is that's fine. Um, I've got a question. Oh crap! Deliver them personally, right? <laughs> Teach. No. We gotta train up Cloud's ranks. Leone would like to speak to you. Now's a great time. Last time was not, but this is a great time. Cool. I'm sure she said only nice things to me. Uh, let's carry on here. Don't 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 don't. don't. With you on Aren't bio weapons just living weapons? Ah, I finally... It's a good question. Actually, I have no idea. Saint Sarah's Day. I said all these things about bio weapons, and then you're like, "Aren't bio weapons just?" I have no idea, actually. Oh wow, what an interesting pair. An interesting pair to have with me on Saint Sarah's Day. Oh, and Rhea's birthday, too. No relation. Viruses aren't alive? Well, that's always the question. Like, are viruses living things? Would you consider a virus alive? Um, it's been a while since I've read the definition of a living thing. Yeah, pure coincidence. I mean, it's like a 1 out of 365 chance, right? Um, I, I kind of forget all of the debates, or what what is the definition of a living thing? And so it's kind of hard for me to remember exactly all of the thought or non-thought. Anyway, I think I wanted the seminar here. Let me check who can give a seminar. Wow, what crap seminars we have available. This might even just be a nothing, right? Or I could do another Byleth Seminar, right? Oh, that'd be so terrible, though. Ugh, and this is better. Uh, Booker says some people simply think reproduction counts as living. I mean, there's more to it than that. It's like reproduction, homeostasis, and... Um... What's the other one? It's reproduction, homeostasis, and what? What's the third quality of a li of living thing? It's literally my search history, actually, definition of living organism. Okay, so apparently it is metabolism, growth, reproduction, adaptation, and response to stimuli is what the medical dictionary says. I've heard a lot about bioweapons, fair enough. It depends on the philosophy of living. I didn't mean that, uh, just they include... Medical dictionary. That's what they say. Metabolism, growth, reproduction, adaptation, response to stimuli. So, I mean, metabolism is basically like you have to do something with energy, essentially. Like, you have to um, consume or manipulate energy in order to be a living organism. Growth, you have to, like, change yourself over some point. Reproduction, you have to reproduce. Adaptation. The, the, the adaptation response to stimuli bit, I'm not quite clear on, though. Exactly what qualifies as adaptation in response to stimuli. I also don't know if that would technically disqualify some things as being living organisms. Like, what exactly that would? What is it? Um, let me look up, like, phylum, and then just go to the top of that. In biology. Oh, biology, right? That's what it's called. Okay, so life. Biological classification. Taxonomy, that's what it's called. 
The main kingdom. Below kingdom. Is the second highest taxonomy range just below domain. And biological taxonomy, a domain, is the highest taxon ta taxonomic rank of all organisms taken together. So you're in the three domain system. What's above it? Organism. So apparently all organisms fall under life. All organisms are composed of cells. All types of organisms are capable of reproduction, growth and development, maintenance, and some degrees of response to stimuli. And this is homeostasis, by the way. So, bioweapons. Exactly. What are the... What are, there's like three domains, it said, right? There's archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. We, we are eukarya, right? No, no. Yes. Yes, we are eukarya. And then, so there's archaea. And then bacteria. There we go. Uh, anyway, let's do a seminar. Is being a, being a weapon just being used as something that cause harm? Maybe. Not all these seminars suck, man. Like they're just terrible. Maybe we do like a bylist seminar, right? Like sword sword isn't even that bad of a goal. And look, we can even get it right here, can't we? Let's just do the Byleth Seminar again. So it's a bioweapon. I have a feeling at that point it ceases to become a bioweapon and just becomes a more like conventional weapon, I guess, right? At that point, it's probably safe to say. Okay, who are we getting in the seminar so far? We probably want Marianne out of the seminar. Briefly. Who can we get in here, though? I don't want Leone in the seminar. Let's get Sylvain in the seminar. Why not? You know, get some of it. Anybody, like, close to an authority rank? Plain, but we're already working on that. Maybe we do want, what's her name? Manuela in the seminar. I'm Manuela Marion. Ah, that's good enough. Doesn't have a conscience, but that doesn't make it not alive. Simple. Got it. Good. I understand. Consciousness is not a requirement for life. Right? We need to fix all these goals. I'm doing the rest before the paralogs, right? That's the idea. What do I want for you? Probably still Gaunt Armor. I think Gaunt Armor. I missed first by a mile, Lapras. Way late. Okay, I think at this point, since you have Seoth, I can actually just solo reason, right? I, I, there's no reason to get more than this much. I mean, like, maybe one day an eventual Gremory cert is a reason to train up more faith, but, like, come on. If something has a conscience, doesn't that make them alive? Well, yes, but, like, if you have a conscience, you are alive. Uh, well, and some other things, then you are alive. But not all living things have a conscience. Like, plankton don't. Bacteria don't. 
far as we know, at least. I mean, they don't have a brain, so... What was I doing? Axe flying? Sure. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I was at work? That's not an excuse. I mean, it's a totally valid excuse. Don't listen to me. Uh, what was I wanting to do? Probably just Lance writing. God, you're so weird, bro, this guy. Also, I should unlock his armor boon. Okay, uh, let me try and Leonie some more. But you were saying that because her spine doesn't have a conscience, it's not alive. But that's not uh, that's not how the logic goes. You cannot have a conscience and yet still be alive. Howdy, gamers. What's up, Kiri? I guess I'll, like, train your faith or your reason or something, I guess. Why am I training you, actually? I just had this thought. I guess I do need you to be, like, capable whenever we go up to the Ferdinand Paralogue, right? Uh, what else shall I do? Let's train you up. <laughs> Kidding. Um... Are the demonic beasts bioweapons? I mean, at that point, like, you would. If the demonic beasts are bioweapons, then, like, any soldier that you hire would qualify as a bioweapon at that point, right? You know? Like, what? Because they're a living organism and you're, like, telling them to fight? They do spit poison, though. I guess their poison breath is a bioweapon. There you go. Um. Does any of this actually matter? Hold on a sec. Hold on. We could be getting Armor Knight. Does that matter? No. Wait, does it? Yo, it kind of does, though. Nah, it doesn't. Just get in the Wyvern bases. Um, and I mean, maybe, maybe, the, uh, maybe the takeaway is that it is true. They are a bioweapon, and so is any soldier that you hire. That's kind of like an unsatisfying definite. That's kind of like an unsatisfying result for our definition, right? Do not, under any circumstances, unlock any magic for Sylvain. If we do, the world will explode. Literally, that's what's going to happen. I'm not even exaggerating. Uh, what happens here, by the way? Do we unlock the, like, budding talent? What do you even get? It's like Brawl Crit 20 or something? I've literally never unlocked her budding talent. Yeah, at that point, it's like you, we kind of we want to make a definition for a word because we want to make it clear what we're talking about when we say that word, right? Yeah, like Curie's got a point. You know, when you say such and such leader deployed bioweapons here, like what are we talking about? They had an army of soldiers. Like, OK, and who hasn't? <laughs> like what leader didn't have an army of soldiers? Uh, what are we doing here? All of you are worthless. And I don't like you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's get heal. Can you try in class, like, once ever, Happy? Like... Ugh. Diseases attack biologically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like... Yeah, well, here's the thing. The thing with the bioweapon is that, like... If I get, like, even if we're... Even if we're having difficulty come up, coming up with a definition, at least at the, at the very least, we can, like, come up with something. Like, if I give you any example, you can tell me yes or no, is that a bioweapon, right? Not necessarily the biological nature of the thing used. Yeah, like, I mean, technically, a, a sword is, like, inflicting harm upon your biology. But yeah, yeah, it has to be, like, some kind of disease or, like, gas. Right? Or is that a chemical weapon? I, actually, is there, is there, like, a difference between chemical weapons and bioweapons? I actually have no idea. I have no idea. 
Science stream pog. Exactly. That's that's what we're streaming now. We are now science YouTubers. Is, is there actually a difference between a chemical weapon and a bio weapon? Is there overlap? How did I change your goals? Probably because I don't care about you. Um. Wait, why did I change you to this? Go back to writing. Why did I ever tr give you any bow XP? Uh, yeah, no, just carry on. With life. What? Sure. My etymology stream? Chemical, yeah, yeah, like a... Like a gas attack would be definitely a, would, would definitely be a, like a chemical weapon. If it has the biohazard symbol on it, it's a bio weapon. There we go. But like mustard gas would have that, right? What's her preferred team? Oh, she likes the weird stuff. I remember. Well, not weird stuff. Yo, Pocono, thanks so much for the raid. How was your stream? What were you streaming? Cinnamon blend, dagda fruit, and four spice. Oh no, I forgot to buy the tea. All right, let's just buy this because I have the most of this. They can be both bio and chemical. I mean, like, yes, every every bio weapon is technically a chemical weapon because it it, it has chemicals, right? Welcome, in Raiders. Yes. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna do this off pure instinct. I shouldn't have tried this. Okay, I'm going back. I'm using the guide. <laughs> I immediately regret. <laughs> My hubris. I have no idea. A dinner invitation? Oh, she likes eating, right? Duh. I should have known this. Yep. Seem well. I mean, who doesn't? But Happy in particular likes eating. Yep. Not books. Not children. Oh. Yep. Heart racing memories? True. Now I feel Shit. Bio weapons? <laughs> Hubert likes it. Oh, wrong. Great tea time. We're going to get the plus charm anyway. Watch it. Yo, what a terrible birthday. We just gave happy. Yo, we got it anyway. <laughs> we got the 60% charm hit. Easy. This isn't so hard. Happy wood. Okay, and then I think here we just rest, and then on the next week we do the, um... So what's it called? Do I want Hero Claude ever? Like, think about it. Nah, nah, not ever, right? Uh, although, is working towards Fortress Knight Claude at all useful? I think I'm just doing it just for the weight minus three, right? Yeah, look how much defense you already got. Fortress Knight, like, literally doesn't help you at all. Um, But weight minus three is useful. You're probably just going to get it, honestly. Like, on your own at some point. Yeah, you're just going to get it. So how about I instead train you in things like, you know, Brawl? Question mark? Could get you assassin. That'd be kind of funny. You are not getting much XP from this, by the way. I should add. Like I'm over here optimizing this, and I'm looking at the actual gains I'm getting, and they're like pretty pitiful. Not time. That was pretty trash. Um, plane. What can I give you? Reason. Going for War Master on him. Healing focus is like it's okay, but in this one in particular, it's kind of hard to proc, right? I'm not training Balthus ever for anything. Oh well, here we go. Maybe Sea Auth could be useful in the paralog I'm about to do. Well, we're not gonna get it. Um, we're gonna do Balthus happy like next week or something, or next month rather. Uh, yeah, all of you are useless, but I guess I can train Leone for two because you do have the sauna buff, right? Anything here useful? Do I ever want you? Healing focus is useless because you can cancel after it. I'm like elixir. Wait, seriously? Nice. Um, whatever would I train? I don't know. Get a bad. Yes. I'm rooting against you. Actually, what what does she want? What does she want? I should know her. Um, be critical. I knew it. 
Not as hard as I thought. Imagine proccing Cantu after item. It was critique, by the way. I know the webcam kind of blocks it. It was critique. That's what she likes. Has anyone documented that ever, by the way? What everyone likes? What does this get even recover? Why did I? Why am I training this unit? Imagine proccing Cantu after item. Couldn't be three houses. Couldn't be three houses. Um, goals don't have to change for anybody, right? Yeah, no, I still want you doing that. Everyone else is like useless, so you're training the correct things. Everyone, yeah. Everyone, wait, hold on a sec. You actually already have C flying, so you don't need anything more, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you have C flying, I can put you on something else. I can do like axe lance, maybe axe armor. No, I don't need to axe armor. Is C? No, C is weight minus three, right? What's shocking one to me is Bylas likes to be Balkos likes to be consoled. He's a big softy. Since full motive won't ever need critique console, but like that is restricting your options. Um, she's already got weight minus three, yeah. Weight minus five is like B plus or is it A? I actually have no idea. It's it's a, it's it's so far off. Like there. And, and wait, minus three is enough, guys. Come on, it's enough. I guess bow. Yeah, this is right. A plus. Yeah, no, get out of here. Um, You know, he's actually kind of close to swift strikes looking at it. He's getting there. He might make she might make it to uh, warlock ranks, too. Well, that'd be massive if I could actually get her into warlock. We'd have warlock flame. Oh, but we'd have to chance it. We wouldn't have that 100% cert. Uh, I like these. Let's turn them in. No. Grammary? That's out of the question for you, Lysithia. I get, hold on, I bet you they have like a support that just unlocks those two. And I probably should be unlocking it in order to get better uh, group task. Okay, and so now we can finally do paralogs. Well, we could have done them before. Oh, wow, no. Go plain C, I guess. Um, now we can do these. Well, we could have done them before, but I just chose not to. Do I want hero or assassin on you? No, there's no way it's better than wyvern, right? What are we doing anyway? Ash Catherine and Yuri Constance. Ooh, yeah, no, I'd rather have Wyvern in both cases. Um, yep, sounds good to me. And these people can't unlock anything, like, new, right? You have Darting Blow, which is kind of cool. You have Armored Blow, which is really cool. And what do I want for you? Like, Paladin, Soldier? I don't know. You're going to get something, right? Oh, let's, let's just go into the freaking map, all right? Can we actually do Ash Catherine Paralog? Yeah, wow, well, you can. Interesting. Okay, um... I don't, I don't know if Catherine is actually advancing goals right now. And Yuri Constance, right? Which one do we do first? I have a feeling the plus move ring is actually going to be like pretty valuable in this paralog even. So let's do this. Or not the plus move ring, rather. The uh, the boots. I don't even know who I'm picking boots. Oh, it's got to be Claude, guys. Come on. Of course it's going to be Claude. There you are. Mobility might hurt me in Hunting by Daybreak, but I have a feeling it's actually going to be, like, pretty handy. Oh, and then Ash is like, I'm coming too. Actually, here's the thing. Have you guys seen Green Unit Ash? You know, people make fun of Ash a lot. Just wait till you see Green Unit Ash. He's a monster. I'm serious. I'm not even, I'm not even memeing. This guy's, this guy's insane. Church of Sarah Soldiers, Disturbance Gambit. Bro, look at these stats. Look at these stats, man. 18 attack speed, 33 attack with his steel bow. Only bow prowess too, which is kind of cringe. But man, look at it. Look at the, like, 17 charm. Ash, good. No, dude, look at this guy. He's not even bad as a late recruit, isn't he? I guess, as a late recruit, he's not even terrible. Oh, I guess you can deploy Shamir in these paralogs. If only real Ash had these stats. Like, Recruit Ash, I know, was like, he doesn't have bad stats. Actually, he has, like, pretty bad stats. Wait. Oh, my God. Index Sword Fighter. She has the Index Sword Fighters. 
So she's got minus two magic attack. And the Archbishop class even. What does the Archbishop class give? Charm, Commander, Terrain Resistance. Wow, she just has an innate Commander. Holy crap, plus six damage when adjacent to her. That's insane. I never saw that, but yeah, we're just chilling out over here. Um... Wait, did I get the message that the battalion that was assigned to them has been removed because it was inappropriate, even though it was totally appropriate? Nah. She can use any bat she wants to make and you do all the work on it. I know, right? Can you ca yo, can you cast retribution on us? Turn one. Oh, the adjutant. Okay, I was like, huh? Right. Yeah, he did have an adjutant. I remember now. Um. Anyway, I have a feeling that if I torch, I'll be able to, like, kill this guy over here. And this being a Fog of War map is actually extraordinarily convenient. Let's remove Happy and add, I think, Ferdinand? Or should I add uh, Flame? Flame Rescue is going to be, like, pretty good, I think. God, Hilda still needs to work on, like, all this crap, right? Like, she still needs to work on Brigands, still needs to work on Pegasus Knight. I might actually just, like, adjutant Hilda instead of deploying her on the map. Right? Like, I could, uh, put her as adjutant to Claude. I have a feeling Claude's gonna be doing a lot. I mean, this is a map where people, like, tend to spread out. No, hold on a sec. Who actually has, like, the most resilience? Or the most resistance, rather? It's gonna be Flane, right? Flane could do... Oh, Flane can do bottom left. Easy. And if Flane does bottom left, let's deploy Flane for bottom left. And if Flane does bottom left, we can just, like, adjutant someone to her, right? Who do we wish to adjutant to Plane? Could do Hilda. I could do like Hilda with the. I mean, I've done this before. That's how I got Armored Blow, right? I could do this for. Uh... What about Darting Blow or Death Blow? Both, maybe. Uh, what What about Hilda or Leone, rather? Well, Leone's already mastered Darting Blow. So, because of that, I think what I want to do actually is reclass Leone to. Because. Th this is a. This is a pretty sick comp. What? She had. She has zero Brigand XP? What the hell? How does Leone have zero Brigand XP? I had no idea. Since when, bro? Ugh. I mean, she can easily get 25 combats, right? I'm pretty sure she can. What the hell's Leone? This back on. And then what weapon does she want to wield? Probably axe, right? I think this is correct. She's 25 res, that's so much. That's so much res, it's ridiculous. Um, she probably wants magic staff. And let's give her a nice bat as well. If you can attack them, you have to. That is correct. But Nouvelle Attendance is my best plus magic bat right now. Why is it on Bylith? I, I, I'm never going to know. Just equip it. What about plus res? Wow, yep. It's Nouvelle Attendance. Gives me more hit too, but like, I mean, if we level this up... Also, we're kind of close to Dart or to uh, Fiendish Blow, rather. We could probably get Warlock Cert from this map, right? Dude, that'd be sick. Warlock Cert Flane by chapter whatever it is that we're about to go into. The one with Kranya. Um, so, what's uh, Ferdinand in? Oh, I totally forgot to. Didn't I forget to Adjutant last map? Yeah, I totally forgot to Adjutant. Gaze. Wait, what? Gaze? Bet. 
better tell me. Wait, why am I deploying my Sith here? I feel like I'd rather have Cyril than my Sith here, would I not? I mean, I do want a magic attack for the. About to sneeze. Do you have my knights? Yeah, I said something about the gaze. I can't remember. I feel like I was about to sneeze, but I'm actually not about to sneeze. I was close. I'd manage if I had sneezed. Three class. I could do armor knight by Lith. Would I rather have you in hero or armor knight? Yo, he looks so cool in hero. Look at that. I was getting some armor knight XP earlier on the other map. It'd be nice for this. Hi, by the way, what's up, Ryan? Glad to have you in. Okay, do I want to actually deploy that Scythia on this map? Probably not. I think Cyril's going to be better. And then who's my other adjutant going to be? What a question. Um, What a dilemma. I also have no idea what my inventories are, so I'm just putting them away, man. It's going to be all messed up for this anyway. Uh, except for you. You're fine where you are. I said the adjutant. Can she even, like, get anything useful from being an adjutant? Like, I'd rather have you with, like, a bow and, like, your point blank volley and maybe a hammer to deal with the armor knight. Because I know there's armor knights up here. Or I could, I, I could also just equip, like, rapier on Catherine and just have Catherine go up and deal with it. Or rapier on you, even. Twenty endurance, Saros Pegasus. You don't have Landsbreaker or anything, do you? No, you're nowhere close. You're uh, you're like ninety XP away from Landsbreaker. Um, I could even like I think they have this AI where they like prioritize Ash, right? You know, there's also a map where I could theoretically use the Impregnable Wall Battalion. Like, I could theoretically, like, impregnable wall these guys and then do something about it. But Shamir on this side, and then, first off, you're going here. Who's dealing with the assassins? Probably you. Who has, like, high defense? Quad, Byleth, Sylvain has high defense? I think maybe Byleth. I know it's kind of a weird thing to do, but like I think that's gonna be the correct thing. Wow, Lester Mercs with the highest um prot here. Curious. I would have never thought that, but I guess they do have it. Um do I need to like level up Gloucester Knights maybe? Because I have a feeling that Gloucester Knights should have higher. Gloucester Knights have five, right? So yeah, I should probably level up Gloucester Knights. What level their Gloucester Knights? They're level three right now. Yeah, they need to they need to get leveled up. Oh, let me put Gloucester Knights on Byleth then actually. Let, let me do that real quick. Keep the Lester Mercs on Yuri. Because you actually have, um, what is this? This isn't Sacred Power. It's like Model Leader. Yeah, you have Model Leader. That levels them up a bit faster. And then what do I want to train? I mean, I'm already training this. What do I want for later, anyway? Don't I want swords for Felix Recruit? I actually kind of need swords, like, and I need them now. Maybe that's better for Hero, though. No, I really shouldn't think of it that way. Like, that I need to be in hero in order to get sword rank. It'd be nice. Actually, it's like plus three, isn't it? Maybe that is, like, pretty meaningful. Yeah, it's plus three. That's actually a lot. That's a lot of sword rank to be getting over the course of one map. It's and I know that, like, that is a lot of prot to lose as well. I think it was, like, three prot or something. But I, I there, there are ways to make it up, right? And at the end of the day... Like, actually having good stats on my sword is probably just fine, too. 
26 prot is probably adequate. I'm actually uh, check the benchmark. There's a torch. Oh, I didn't buy a torch, right? Probably smart not to do so. I'm not. I'm never obligated to like fire off a torch, by the way. Where's the um, stride bat? All oh, right, Sylvain does. <laughs> Thank you. That helps. Stay focused. Oh, yeah, that's, that's totally adequate, man. Look at that. What do they got? Iron sword? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, what, that's easy, man. What trash? I, I, even, like, actually, yeah, being in, um, what's it called? Armor Knight would have been, I think, disadvantageous. Okay, so you got that. I guess you can rape your up this way. Sounds good to me. That's going to work on the left side. I should have recruited Lenhart. I could have I could have gotten started on like Masteries. Nah, it doesn't matter. I just want stats on Lenhart. Stats and spells. He can literally be like a generic. Um, but anyway, maybe like Pacithia wants something. Also, like, don't Lysithia and Ferdinand have support? They have a paralog together, man. They must have a support. They don't have... Wow, they don't support. They have a whole paralog together, but they don't support. I'm just thinking, like, who's the person getting in the second most combat? Probably Byleth, to be honest. So... Whom should I attach to Byleth? No, you already have Mage. You don't have Fiendish Blow yet. Does that mean I want to give you Fiendish Blow? Maybe one day. Could have gotten you Priest. So I just Ferdinand's father is at somewhere and Lysithia knows the place. Fair enough. I guess, do, do Ash and Catherine have a support? They do. There's probably a couple others like that. Where they have a paralog together, but don't support. I bet you, um, Mercedes and Aspar don't. Yeah, I don't have support. Cause that, that paralog is like super meaningful to Mercedes, and I think Caspar is like, oh, I want to punch him. It's basically how that one goes. More or less, right? Yeah, it's just equipped like Lysithia yeah, as adjutant. That seems like the thing I benefit from most is Lysithia yeah, adjutant. And then I should be able to get a lot of sword rank here as well. Okay, next up, um, you do need to have the rapier. Can I equip you? Should I also give you the thunderbrand? Maybe. Here you go. Have that, have the rapier plus. Oh, I should have gone back and bought a second rapier. No, I, I purchased um what's it called? Other things. Oh, energy drop. Hold on, I have energy drop. And giant shell. Wasn't I saving that for someone? Do I just put all stat boosters on Claude? I think I do at this point, to be honest with you. It seems like that kind of run. Just make like one super unit. And then Byleth is going to be the person that like, gets me killed in Hunting by Daybreak or what have you. Like, your stats are pretty good, but then your stats are just like crazy. It's actually like, kind of comparable to Ash's stats. Oddly enough. Uh, what do you want? Cyril, that is probably a mace, a hand axe, a steel bow, an iron plus. What does Shamir want? I don't know where, quite where Shamir is going to go, probably off to the east. She's probably going to want iron bow, iron bow, steel bow. 
long as you're still holding on to some. Oh, I could put uh, Killer bo Killer Plus on you, right? That'd be kind of funny. Let's give you a longbow. I do actually think that's going to be valuable here. Killer Plus would be funny on you. Okay, uh, what about you? You are currently a Pegasus Knight. And what items do I want you to have? Probably... You still need to train your axes a bit. And I guess, like, you could theoretically be going northwest with Swordbreaker, but, like, I don't think so. I think probably what's going to happen is Hilda... Hilda, Ferdinand are probably just going to go somewhere to the bottom. Somewhere to the south-ish here. Uh, what do I want to put on you? You have Alliance Snipers with Bat Desp. I don't think Bat Desp is actually, like, that important on you right now. What I really want to do is actually give you as much avoid as possible. Even if it means J Mercs. I'll probably have you, like, try and dodge tank these guys while in the forest. I think that seems like a good strategy, right? Like, go in the forest. Redux, what are you doing? You hit a button. Welcome oh, in, bro. Just don't hit that button. Accidental button push, I'm so sorry. That was Pog. I know, right? I'm like, guys, shut up. I'm trying to focus here. Don't worry about it. Welcome in. Glad to have you. Love Ferdinand. Oh, yeah, I didn't I did need you to equip some items. Yo, Crescent Circle? Lance of Ruin? Everybody quiet down. I know, right? Don't, don't worry about it, dude. I... It was an interruption, but I was able to fix it. Like, don't worry about it. Hmm. HP plus five, sword breaker. I don't really want sword breaker on you. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Wait, hold on a sec. Think about it. Brawling and axe prowess. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy would like to know how many times you have supported my wallet. Have I... See? Have I? No, I've never done it. Yeah, wait, what? I've definitely S supported Catherine. What the hell? I've definitely S supported Catherine. This is a lie. I've S supported Linhart. I've S supported Leone. Of course, I have. Uh, there's. I've definitely S supported Catherine before. I don't know. I'm only here to hear Mercedes' voice lines. I, I I just pivoted my plan to actually try and recruit her. Did you leave something or change users? No. Sometimes S support some save with new game plus transfers. You know what it actually is, I bet? Um Because it's this file. Oh, it's because I never saved clear game data, I bet. This file, I definitely S supported Catherine. I did, right? I could probably skip like a lot of stuff. Hold on a sec. We're going to find it. Told you. Let's save it. Let's 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 seal it in. Yeah, I bet it's because I never did the like epilogue save. Let's just seal it in real quick. She actually had a really adorable S support scene. I'm going to be honest, I got there and like, it, it was like, who do you want to marry or who do you want to S support? And I had actually never thought about it. Um, so I just picked Catherine because I was like, sure. Um, and she actually had a really adorable S support scene. I was like, oh, it was really sweet. There we go. That's what it was. There it is.
I, I was pretty, I was pleasantly surprised. That's because I didn't like seal the fire. I guess, whoa. Maybe there were some other supports there that I got that weren't in my logs. What's your total switch profile time on FE3H? Thirteen fifty-five. This game, it's my most played game. By a lot too. Actually, I, StarCraft Two probably has more. It's just it's been counted over several different accounts. It's definitely my most played single-player game. Actually, that's not true. Slate, well, no, Slate of Fire only has like a thousand hours or so. Mr. Fire Emblem? I don't know about that one. Uh, I could do Saris Archers and just keep them. I mean, like, plus two physical attack, plus 15 hits, pretty nice. I think this is going to be cool. Alliance Pegs? Yes, probably. What do I want for you? You can have D rank bets. Probably just Saros Mercs, to be honest. It's kind of hard to get better than Saros Mercs. Like they're so good. I know. I know. I literally say this like every time I boot up this game, but they're so good. There's no reason I have a shocking number of comp uh, completed runs to account for my 12k hours or 1.2k hours. I have completed this game on this profile. I've completed the game. Actually, how many how many times, Darink, have you completed the game? Because we have basically the same play time. Like, how many completed runs do you have? I have. I'm trying to think right now. But I think the number is five. Five completed runs. Yeah, no, I'm not counting like drafts and speed runs. It's five. I think it's five. New belt Chamberlain on you. Honestly, I only have four. I have to have like 2k hours at least. Yeah, no. I mean, there have been a couple runs that I got to a point where I was like, I know I can win this if I just keep playing. So I'm just going to not keep playing. I've, I've done that a few times. You want to level up Victor Private the rest of the way? I think so, right? Like, let's just get the last level on Victor Private real quick, right? I'm using the cringe J Mercs. Um, honestly, let me just not have the stride bat. Like, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I think just not having the stride bat at all is the correct thing to do. Let me just make sure people have the right weapons, the right stuff. Let's put a short spear on. Let's put a layer on you. That's, that makes sense, actually, doesn't it? Same as Dark Souls. Wow. All Dark Souls games have 500 plus hours and only kill the boss as many times as there are endings. Yeah, I haven't really, like... Okay, I've only beaten Dark Souls 2, like, maybe three times. I've never beaten Dark Souls 3. But I still don't have much time in Dark Souls 3. And then Dark Souls 1, I have something like 700 hours in it. And I think I've beaten the final boss, like, maybe seven or eight times. I'm not, I'm not actually doing any, like, gauntlet silliness, right? Ugh, maybe I am. Where I play games. I mean, like, I find with a lot of games, the very start is, like, what's most interesting to me. To be completely honest with you, that, that's what I find most often. I find that too. Especially when it comes to RPGs. Like, there's a lot of times with some RPGs, right? You know Grubby? I have no idea who Grubby is. It's fun seeing what you can do while you're being underpowered. Yeah, because what happens is, like, after a while, you get a lot of stuff. And frankly, I just get overwhelmed if I'm going to be, like... I'm not even gonna mince words at all. I just get overwhelmed. Like there's so much stuff going on and I'm like, I don't know what I even have access to or like what my character is able to do. It's just like, like, Bal like Baldur's Gate is pretty notorious for that. After a while, like I play Baldur's Gate 2. I can't do Baldur's Gate 2, it's too complicated. 
I have no idea what I have or what I can do. I should probably give you like a, just a doo doo weapon, right? Like just in case you don't need anything like crazy good, right? Nobody has any gauntlets right now. Interesting. There you go. I'll give you a pair of gaunts. No, shouldn't do that. Oh, you need an accessory. March ring, maybe? I do have the healing staff, finally. I'm not going to use it. I think accuracy ring is what you want, right? Like, as long as you hit your point blank volley, you're kind of fine. Uh, trade this out for the... Iron. I think everyone's fine at this point in time, right? Do a once over of the abilities I get. Oh, oh, let's make sure the adjutants are right. Okay, yes, the adjutants are correct. Do a once over the abilities. Okay, you have everything you want, right? Yes. Yo, this is good. HP plus two. Do you want axe or do you want something else? This is probably fine. Maybe brawl. I can give you a gaunt too. This is fine. I need to check your arts, but you're fine. Uh, HP bat desk. Oh, I need to give somebody a torch over on like the east side of the map, I think. I would probably give like Cyril a torch if anybody. Bat desk is probably what I want here. I don't want model leader. I don't want defensive tactics. Both of these weapons are totally fine. Oh, I need to actually give you a weapon, I bet. I bet Claude is totally unequipped at the moment. Um, this is fine. Axe breaker? Question mark? I don't even think I would really need axe breaker. Actually, why is Yuri even on the map? I feel like I need someone who's like better at killing mages. Maybe that means no dancer. It's such an odd thing to do. No dancer? I mean, you're, you're still like pretty good at killing mages. You got like 14 res, right? I give you like Brave Sword, maybe Iron Bow. Also, it's fine. You don't need Sword Breaker. Battalion Renewal? No. You just really get more powerful most of the time the end game power creep doesn't catch up with you yeah no i don't i don't really know any rpg where late game hour you like actually needed to like you actually needed to scale as hard as you could have in order to like meet meet with late game power most of the time it's like you just have it already yeah i totally unequipped you yes and you were totally unequipped as well. What do I want for you? Like maybe Iron Plus. And Iron Axe Plus. Oh, and then someone needs a torch. Shamir, probably right. I think Shamir with a torch standing on this tile can see all that. I mean, if you're a confident player, the devs will give you the tools you need to succeed and you'll have them, or they give enough access to those tools. Yeah, exactly. Like, you can still, you can still kind of pretend that you're, like, struggling, right? Uh, honestly, I don't need that. Give you a torch. Sure thing. Let us away. Now we can rescue Rhea, but I don't think that's what we want to do here. Oh, you get like pwned now, don't you? Um, let's just see. Could you have seen that? Please, Professor. Oh wait, that is not the mission, yeah. It's a different mission. Yeah, this is still fine. Yeah, and you don't get wrecked. Cool. Alright, you can't use Warriors mode when it's Fog of War. Pegasus versus the Steel Bow. Yeah.
and who has like I have nothing defensive on him. Whereas like Shamir at the very least has you know the evasion ring and the J Mercs on right. She has something defensive. Stay focused. To work. Ready and willing. Yeah, wrong fog map. Never underestimate an outsider. It's see. Th this seems like it's gonna be fine, right? I'll crush them all. Okay. Um. Probably want to actually do something like go here. I need to be careful with this, right? Because you have. Mace is E rank, so if there's a guy here, I at least know that there's not a guy here. It's Shamir, she's got this, yeah, exactly. Um, There we go, see? And this is stealing Killer Bow. So Sylvain actually cannot use that. Let us away. Sure thing. Oh, right, I don't get any um terrain. Ouch. Hold up. Um, I didn't really think about this, did I? Well, I guess you're only taking 10 at the end of the day. Like, it's not actually that much damage. But I can steal? Oh, you have a droppable torch. Okay. I guess I could win sweep. I still need to... Oh, hold on. There's an issue, actually. I'm not going to win sweep with a brave sword. <laughs> it's with, like an actual weapon on you. I almost forgot. Oh, I need to put an actual art on him, too. Yeah, Shamir should be fine there, I think. Not the Woot Steel. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Of all the weapons to wind sweep with... Oh, I guess Swap is good on you, though. Um, There's nothing else that I, like, really desperately want, right? I forgot to give him, like, an actual weapon. There you go. Much better. And here we are, back in the preps menu. Know what the problem is? Not enough mages. I got this one. She's enough. You saying flame isn't enough? What kind of nonsense is that? The, okay, Cyril's on like literally the worst sure spot thing. ever, by the way. Um, like legitimately. We got so much XP to start off with. Uh, that's fine. She is right that it's a bit disappointing, but it also like doesn't matter. That was a hot level up for a year. Yeah, and the exact opposite on flame. Okay, well she's forced to attack here, right? Um, the assassins are up here, right? Yeah, I know we're close. Yeah, I mean, Flame's like getting XP. Right, that's the main thing. As long as she's getting XP. Ready and willing. Sorry, but victory is mine. 
Okay, now we have these three stooges. I'll crush them all. You have no attacks, right? I think there's like a Pegasus in the fog here. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I'll give it my all. You have close counter? You do. Okay. I just something like this. Oh. Who me? I could smite Rhea. Hold up. Yes. Horsey's been coming. I know. I'm prepared for the horsies. Boom. <laughs> Making good use of this march ring, as you can see. Bad vantage horses layer is one of my methods. Ooh, she got hit by that. 12%. Missed. No, it's fog, Shamir. Get it right. Okay, let's hope Blaine can move herself into a more advantageous position here. Ooh, monk. This is pretty monka. I prevailed. One of many methods. Um, she's probably fine there, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, um, this is a pretty good excuse to have a lot of our guys go east because th so think about Yuri, right? Look at how many squares you can attack. That's pretty dangerous. Um, these guys have to do something, right? Oh, what does Bat Bandage Layer even do? Actually, not that great, to be honest with you. I'm getting doubled, too. AS5? Damn, no wonder. That's it, you can do it with no strength. Yeah, oh, Ferdy. Oh, boy. Send the man over here. Look at him go. Do oh, okay. This is, um... Slightly less praiseworthy than I thought. It still worked, but, you know. Did it truly work? Onslaught? What do you have? Assault Troop? Okay, so... You can probably kill one of these guys, right? Oh, yeah. Um... This is not good. FC support at least. Yeah, no combat arts. No curved shot. Is an archer? Yeah. Bro, get over there. Curve shot iron plus takes out the peg, right? Well, that's a chance to. And then I'm at least... Yeah, none, none of these guys actually get linked attack. What I could do, is, however, is pivot one of these guys over, right? So I actually have a fusillade gambit. It's not a very good hit rate, but I do have one. And I think Shamir supports Cyril. I mean, these combat art hit rate or these gambit hit rates like kind of suck. Yeah, yours is better to begin with, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. I could have done a horses layer Lance of Ruin, but. 
Yeah, Hilda's Gambit hit is better to begin with. So I'm gonna do that at some point. Start with this, however. Oh, here's another thing I can do, actually, I just thought of. Look at that. We're getting the Quad and the Ferdinand. Much better. Okay. Uh, this should be relatively reliable. Um, I think Ferdinand has to stay in the Short Spear, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Because now you can just attack him and, you know, get hit. Oh, you're still... You're... You're... you're you are speed sealed i guess um i don't even know how to put that there's like a pegasus over here somewhere right i think so um i have to move you this way first oh well, now i have to attack you from outside woods this is a bit um unfortunate Maybe you're fine though, right? I can't I fading blow. Oh no, I can actually fading blow with my gaunts here. Which keeps me alive against the eventual Pegasus who's up here, right? I know there's a Pegasus up here somewhere. Just because I can swap doesn't mean I should, right? I think this part of the map is going to need more firepower. Oh, the hunch. I could curve. Oh, I actually, not only can I curve shot, I have to curve shot. Face it. I'm better than you. Okay. And then I think from here, I can just send Byleth north. Armored blow moment. But then next turn- wait, what? Oh, no forest. Okay. I was like, how come this one I can damage? What trash. Okay, there go the boost. That's actually a reset. But she can tow. Probably live. Ready when you are. Ah, that's what you get. This kind of brand initiates combat. I think she needs to get zero H get zero combat or um lose zero HP. Especially because I have sacred power, right? Actually, that is the question. Does it kind of Rhea initiates combat? 
Or is it just she needs to take zero HP of damage? I think she can initiate combat. Hold the line. Let me look it up. Where's Triabolical? Someone, someone called Triabolical. Automatically at end of paralogue if Raya did not enter combat. What? If Raya initiates combat. Do I lose the boots? That's pretty easy to undo. I just don't smite on turn one. I'll check the script right quick. Thank you. I'll crush them all. This is pretty favorable. So I just do that, right? I need to... Hold on. Something just happened. I need to check. We're fine. The short spear is messing me up. Also, Flane is getting in like shockingly few combats. Oh, you're gonna gambit me? Group lightning? Yeah, get out of here. I guess I could have used a torch last turn. I'm going to assume it does. Honestly, because like, why why would I smite anyway? Like, why smite? You just complained there. That's it. Wait, what? What's one o two five and six thirteen? Are you absolutely sure? I need to do this paralogue on like easy mode one day then. I'm not going through it all on maddening and then like coming back and being like, okay. That's too much brain power for like a simple task. To work. Ready and willing. That's the golden deer for you. It's... Sure thing. Ready when you are. One hundred two five looks like a stat booster. That'd be shoes of the wind, right? We didn't get strength this time, but. Let us away. But seriously, it's just if map ends. A slightly better level two. Stay from whenever she got last time, which I can't remember. You didn't give it your all. 1025 is shoes of the wind? Wow. So you don't even like the number of combats doesn't matter? The next turn I want to not reveal anything on this part of the map. Yeah, apparently you just get it from winning. Wow, seriously. Okay, where did these guys show up? It was like you were here and then you went and then you went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then could attack them here and here. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Who me? Who 
Maybe we should have um, gone unequipped. Night Nealer on him, by the way. Yeah, I'm over the best house. That's right. What's up, Origin Form? Are there other ways to end the map? Um, turn and row. Silenced. No other events for the map. Seriously. So you don't even need to protect them from harm. Or you don't even need to protect Ray at all. Well, I mean, like, she needs to not die. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. She needs to not die as well. Thanks, Claude. That was a good try. Oh, wow, they want Claude. Good job, Fergie. That's right. That's the golden deer for you. He's doing a good... Wait, no, he's not. He missed. He's attacking some little force, don't you think? Exactly. Well, I mean, yeah, it's like you literally failed the map objective, so it's like a game over, basically. I have a feeling we're going to be here for a minute if we take this attack. Oh, wow. Wind is actually enough to not get me doubled. Interesting. Um... Maybe I could run this guy to spell casts. We just got magic and resilience and crit and seal magic. Wind sweep rave. Uh, where are the Pegasi? They're like here and here, right? They're either here and here or they're here and here. Wait, I just I clicked the A button too many times. I meant to only click the A button once there. No attacks, right? And no attacks. I remember if Catherine counts, she's pretty hard to kill. If the IDs for the green units die, I guess this is the IDs. And that means they could potentially not die. Um, or they could potentially not count for the rewards, right? Is more more so the idea. No matter where you go, I'll be able to see, or I'll be able to dance. Okay, so this is pretty favorable. Lightweight lance at all? No, all of them are super heavy. And that Ray attack and see. I'm kind of tempted to do that as well, but I also would rather just not monster blast. Need curve shot. Boring. Damn, Shamir. Oh no, quiver. Right. The air. Not what I was hoping for. That was amazing. These guys have like 15 AS, I think. No, they have 12 AS. Well, hold on. I know with this, I was one short. So it's, it's 13 AS, right? No matter what, I'm getting doubled then, huh? Of course, I didn't bring any like Iron Lance on you. Of course. Why would I have done such a thing? I guess I could just take the shield instead. I could. Here's what I could do. I could go here. I could smite you forward. 
should I? That seems kind of funny. Will I equip the March Ring after I do that? I think I've already equipped the March Ring, right? Yeah, I've equipped the March Ring. <laughs> That'd be funny. Let's do it. I just wondered if Ferdinand goes here and I go to use the Smite command. It, no, no, because everybody has at least two squares Fog of War vision. Okay, so I would be able to see it. What if you like warp command? You have to kill 13 units. Uh, let's go to Iron Axe plus. It's going to be some Pegasi from up here. In just a moment. I'll send you this way. I don't want you near the thieves, basically. I don't know who is the one unit left to move. What? That actually hit? What trash? That's actual rubbish, man. Who was the one unit left to move last time? I wonder if I made any legal... No, 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 I didn't. Who was... Wait, who was it? Wait, that was some trash, though, that we lost that bat. We're, got... We're about to get um, Fiendish Blow, though. I'll never back down. Apparently 16 Dusker people saved. Even I... Might have been Cyril. I'm trying to think like who yeah, I don't I don't think I moved Cyril last turn. From the Fighting is what I do. Yo, Catherine's like kinda good. I don't know if you guys agree with this assessment of um Catherine's performance, but I think she's good. Weak? Lamel. She's I yeah, origin forms kind of right. She's I Dude. Oh, we didn't dodge all of it. What trash? Ferdinand, you are a bad wait, what? They can't do it out? <gasps> Monk S. Oh, is that we just got is that old? Um it's actually kind of dangerous though. Do I have like grounder or something? Ah, uh, that's not enough. Okay, who are you targeting? I guess I could, like, curb shot somebody, right? Do you have silver bow? No, I have heavy draw. Even better. Okay, so hold on. Let's actually let's actually examine our options here. So first off, somebody's going to have to go, like, here, right? Um, oh, I have all the concoctions on other people, don't I? I will need all my strength. Oh, I didn't leave space for fiendish blow. That's a mistake. I don't think it's gonna matter, but holy crap, actually, it might. Um, I'm gonna get my bat back. No, she's gonna die. No, she won't, she won't. She won't die. She'll live with one, in fact. Nah, she's not gonna die. No, she'll live with, like, she'll live with one. Do it. Oh, what trash. Whoa, hold on. That's actually terrible. Ready when you are. Playing permadeath? Uh, well, yes, I'm playing classic mode, if that's what you mean. If you mean, am I playing Iron Man? No. But yes. Um, I can't. I really wanted to move Shamir up north to deal with the Pegasi, but I guess this is going to have to do instead. Ready and willing. 
I am Ferdinand von Eyer. It's a bit better. You should be on it. There we go. Solved. It's all because we got hit by that 20 gambit, man. That was ridiculous. 20, like, 20 hit gambit. He's only got one of them, too. And, you know, here we go. No, she's not going to... She's going to get the gambit or the battalion back, rather. So she's going to get an extra six resilience. So this will instead do... Wait, what? Eight times two? Oh, she's going to die, won't she? No, no, no. A little bit. It'll be, it'll be six times two because she's also rattled. So she's losing three res that way. Um, I guess I could theoretically like come back here. Here's what I could do, right? I could go back here. I could pull this out of convoy, and then I could get danced on this square. And that's what I could do. I don't know if the assassins are up north by now, though. Hopefully, however, they are in range to go after Byleth. Probably what I want to do is something like Grounder Iron Sword. That's the only thing I can really see that, like, actually solves this problem. So I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'll give it my own. Meanwhile, I can, like, pivot these guys up here. I mean, the calves in the bottom are solved at this point. So what I need to do is, like, actually work on... Getting solutions to anything that would be in the north if there is something in the north. So I mean, there's no there's no assassins in range of Raya right now, which is the main thing, right? Um, and then I think I can swap, perhaps. Oh, you have an attack, so I actually have to move here with you, don't I? Maybe I should have traded over like a steel bow. No, you're kind of like fine where you are. It's kind of unfortunate that this is happening though. I was hoping for more XP to go on a plane. I think I, maybe it's actually a blessing in disguise though, because think about it. She's actually going to have a little bit of difficulty taking out this bishop. So maybe having someone here like with a brave sword even could actually be like rather handy. You gotta be kidding me! I must... the, first the eight percent, then the five percent, brah, brah. Are you serious? Let's go all the way back. Let's go back to turn two. Do we want to not get hit by that gambit? Probably, right? I need to rethink this for a sec. I got a pee as well. Give me a moment.
All right, I'm back. Let's look at this here. So I do want to have plane not get gambited. If at all possible. Right? Because he... Well, like... Okay, so we have... Brennan moved. Hilda used smite. Catherine moved. So you, Catherine's move is right. Fergie defeated Western Church Leader. Word the wrong kind of plans. Coach, how nice Thank you, Charlie1313. I thought so too as I did it up. I was like, well, this looks really nice. Glad to know it's being appreciated. No, I didn't. I think I could do actually. Hold on. I do have Brawl Prowess equipped. Um, hmm. If I like equip some gauntlets, I bet you I could probably just like take them out like that. How much speed do they have? A lot. I disabled the twin crest mob, but enemies still have it somehow. What is this? I've not heard of it. Um, I think I have one in convoy somewhere, right? Oh, only one might. Uh, still though, this one might. So that's thirty plus five. So that's thirty-five. Minus 13 is 22-22. That actually works. Sure thing. Let's get Yuri out of there. I want to get Yuri as far away from this um, part of the map as possible, too. Uh, that might have changed things by introducing, like, a uh, crest proc chance, so... I don't really know exactly what I'm doing or whether or not it's different. But I have a feeling... I, I, I have a feeling it's different. That's, that should be enough, right? To work. Let's see. What do I want from you? I know there's a bunch of cabs down here, right? Ferdinand von Eyre. Who, me? Ready and willing. Hmm. I'm on it. Ready when you are. Thanks. <sighs> It's kind of hard to judge whether or not Yuri can actually survive that combat with the, um, flyers. Give all the enemies each minute. Goes, oh. Oh, where they can, like, move twice. might just be having the unluckiest day ever. I save Kanto because of the Kanto AI bug. I mean, yeah. I'll 
Give it my all. It's either up here and here. It's actually a good map to have close counter equipped. Please don't hit this. Are you serious? That's a different RN. Oh my god. I'm this I'm literally getting like completely wrecked by RNG right now. Like I'm normally not one to blame RNG, but today it's RNG. I'm just saying. This time it's definitely RNG. I know exactly who to blame. Can't hold me back. Even I. Maybe I need to find something like, um... I need to find a way to, like, burn an RN right before that last turn. Um, maybe if I have Vlad kill this guy with a combat art? Then it um, procs for Crest of Regan. It's not luck, it's fate. To work. Because I proc to Crest of Regan, um, there might be a different RN here. There we go. So we've slid the RNs by one. Although I do know, because I've only slid the RNs by one, Maybe I should have attacked with fire, actually. That would really make a difference if I attack with fire instead. It would also mean he just doesn't gambit me, I think, because he would prefer to just double. I think I think that even might be better. I would, in fact, exhaust his spell. Oh, he's got like 16 casts of Seraphim. That's actually a lot. That's a lot of Seraphim. Yeah, she got crit last time. So I knew, I knew that was going to um, correctly change the RN sequence. Give it my all. Sure thing. Try to keep up. There's only one. Okay, good. That that alone is going to make a massive difference. Like now we're not taking any damage here, right? Again, we unfortunately didn't leave the open slot for um. What's it called? Fiendish Blow. We really should have taken off. Like, there was no reason to have Riley, Riley Luck. I think, does, does this bishop have Renewal, in fact? If the bishop has Renewal, then we actually do need someone else over here at some point. Fighting is what I do. Even I have bad days. All right. This might change the RNs too with um, these Pegasus Knights attacking Catherine. I got pretty lucky with the misses. Okay, that's pretty unfortunate. Losing pretty personal so soon. Nah, they're, they're blocked off, so we're actually totally fine. Here comes Pegasus 1. We're getting even luckier this time, too. I think that's all the enemies in the top right. Well, I mean, this Pegasus, but you know. We're about to account for this Pegasus. Probably Yuri's gonna deal with it. Stay focused. I really should have kept a, kept a concoction. That was just foolishness on my part. Not keeping the concoction in the inventory. Well, he's out of Gambit, so this is absolute defense Gambit. Pretty much completely useless for me at the moment. 
And where was this guy? He was like in the very bottom right, was he not? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade here. Trade here for the March ring. I just sack with the Crescent Sickle. This was beneath me. Much better. I expect it. <laughs> he was talking about apostates twice. He couldn't shut up about the apostates, huh? Um, I think you just one round. Practically. Not quite, but you're rather close. Maybe we should have had Hilda do a gambit first. I could have got some gambit hit right over here. I do know some combination of you two needs to take out this guy, right? Can you point blank volley them or no? Not even close, bro. Why are you so bad? What the hell? When did that happen? What's your gambit? Tell me you have an actual gambit. Okay, good. You have a support with Cyril, right? Just do this. It seems like a bit of a waste. Lady Rhea proud. I guess maybe I could have also um whoa 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 whoa. Well you can smite through allies? Interesting. I don't think you can do actually. I think if you're free. No. Okay, so one of you guys has to do this. Let's just hope you hit this, right? I know that's a great start to any strategy, is like let's hope you oh, dot dot dot, well. but you know. Grounder Iron Sword should be enough, or would I rather punch? Punch has higher overall, like, chance of success. Oh my lord, I actually love this game so much. Chutney Bay. Welcome in. Is it Chutney Bay? Chutney B? Glad to have you in, in any case. Uh, I could probably, like, Brave Sword, right? God, Cyril gets wrecked, bro. I'm actually fine with staying in range of this guy. Yeah, I'm totally fine with staying in range of this guy, aren't I? Yeah, I just do this and then um, nobody does damage to me. Do you have renewal though? That's the question. No, you don't. Wait, what? No renewal? I thought these guys have renewal. Oh, he's a boss. So I think he has... Is he a boss? He doesn't have the tag. He's just a unique. Huh. Is he one level higher? He's not. Pronounce Chutney B, for sure. Welcome in. Glad to have you in the stream. Welcome to Forced Attack Maddening, where if we may attack, we must. So Hilda is forced to make an attack right now. Sylvain, because he has no legal attacks. He's just a special... Yeah, he is, apparently. Oh, whoa. Okay, I should not have given him this battalion. I just realized, oh boy. I don't think there was a turn where I was, like, obligated to make an attack with that. I could check real quick, but I don't think there was. Appreciate. I'm just good to do that, right? You're not getting accessory bugged, are you? No, you're not. That's just your gambit hit rate, huh? 92. We've been on the other side of this, so. And like recently, too. Um, probably want to have Hilda get this. Hilda's like kind of better later on. Yeet. It's always been perfect lethal, this short axe, every time. We're like nowhere near this, though. It's all Leone. I mean, Leone's like building up 
I think Brigand Mastery or what? Let's take a look. I don't know what mastery she's building. Is it one of these guys or is it one of the mid? It's got to be one of these guys, right? There we go. We mastered Fiendish Blow. I forgot to leave the spot open for it. So we're doing this. We should be able to get B plus Reason before the end of the map. And then some time from now, maybe not this map, maybe the next, we should be able to uh, start Warlock. What are these attempts to sort Warlock? We're only going to have B plus reason, so it's not going to be 100%. Did that suffice? Destroyed him, Flane. Next up, who wants a piece of it? No, yeah, she's training Brigand. How close is she? She's getting there, actually. She's not... Ooh. I don't know how many combat sends. But she's actually a bit, like... She's not as far along as I thought she was. Alright, plus one prot. Very nice. Where's the third assassin? There's three assassins, I know. As expected. Kind of a crap level, but we'll take it. I have to try. I'm about to sneeze, by the way. <laughs> At this point, I'm too mentally invested in the clear in order to even, like, consider dropping out. Oh, wait, what? Let's just... She wasn't doing that much all the time, was she? I think she was. I, I thought that was with Fiendish Blow. Oh, I bet it was the uh, Battalion. Alright, here we go. We kind of killed him too quickly. I was hoping for more XP on Leone. Um, don't think anyone's down here. Let's just go back up. I mean, it's just these fellas up here, I imagine. Yeah. You don't have a... thing, do you? What I could do, actually, is just... just to secure Rhea's survival. Oh, well, now I have this, though. Oh, my God. She has, like, no res for a Pegasus, even. Just in general, actually. There's, like, nothing. Should have thought of that before making that move. We should, we, we should be fine, though, right? It's not a tragedy if Hilda takes some damage. Um, where's Ash? Just sent him somewhere, like... Okay, he doesn't have curve shots, so... I don't have to worry about anything like that. And of course, this is gonna happen. There they go, attacking Byleth again. You fought well. Where's the other assassin? Oh, he was up there. Interesting. Oh, wow, he went to the forest? That's actually pretty annoying. Because I kind of wanted to, like, get some westward progress here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, I guess that makes sense, though, because he gets the um, forest now. Uh, Gambit's probably my highest accuracy attack. Yes. You just throw a bunch of horses at him. That should work. Um, I think this is going to be like the first turn of reinforcements as well, so I need to be a bit careful. I am spent. We got B plus reason. Okay, you need to go like somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, you can use a break. Okay, um... Let's just trade the torch over. Oh, you already, you already got a torch, right? Then... Let's see if this is safe. If I made, like, a terrible move, then, you know... I'll just take it back. Let's 
team safe. Let's just finish it up. What are you at? You're almost level 20. You'll get it. We're about to do um, Yuri Constance Paralog anyway. So we definitely get experience on that one. I might even do a warp play. This should be the last enemy, right? Seems pretty good to me. See you. You fought well. Goddess. We got the shoes of the wind. We got the critical. Oh, right, the critical ring. I never even realized that. I forgot we got that here. It's like kind of handy, right? It's a little bit nice. Thanks, Professor. I really appreciated your. How's that napkin in doing there? Oh, we got the Gaspard Knights. We skipped it. Oh, no, we don't get the Gaspard Knights, right? Because we don't have a... What's his name? Ash Recruit. Oh, no, we don't get the Gaspard Knights. All right, let's go to um, Yuri Constance. This is the other one we plan to do. This one's going to be kind of hard. <laughs> what is with you? <laughs> My Actually, this can be kind of difficult. I just realized. Trying to reset and recruit. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't, I don't care about Gaspard Knights. We got the Shoes of the Wind. That's what's important for that paralog. Um, I actually don't know. Nah, you got that. Yeah, exactly. Um, Constance is here. Yeah, true. We do have Constance. She's forced on this map. So is Yuri. I was kind of probably going to bring Yuri anyway, though. Um. Boy, this paralogue, yeah, uh, it's going to be a bit tricky. Okay, so imagine for a moment, right? We do this paralogue and we're like, oh, it's actually too difficult. What then? Like, Balthus Happy is our only fallback because we don't have Felix yet. Okay, um, we do have Lysithia, who could theoretically warp somebody. So here's the issue with this paralogue. We have, like, Duke Gert. Or Duke Girth, I guess. And we gotta get a guy over here. Issue is... Um, doing so... As far as a stride on an awkward... Yeah. Actually, hold on. No, we got this. Okay, here's what we do. We go here. Put Lysithia here... Just build this up from the ground. Okay, so we can stride, say, Byleth, right? What I think I want to do though is make sure that nobody can go up here and attack these guys on turn one. I might just have to not stride turn one. No, I have to, right? Because Claude. Uh, anyway, you'll have like marching or something, right? Let's just give you the marching now. Why do you have magic staff? What the hell? Anyway, you go like here, say. And worth note is that you cannot attack this guy. You have 21 magic, that's actually kind of cool. Probably rally magic turn one too, just to get some extra squares. Anyway, go here and then you warp. It's from the caster, right? Yeah, so you can go there. And you'll be strode. I guess you never have a wyvern on this map. It's kind of handy. Ready and willing. How far can you go? You can go like there. You're a thief. You're a thief. Okay, it's the it's the thieves that will transform if they touch him, right? You need to keep the thieves away. The Agarthan soldiers are just kind of like guys, right? I mean, they're dangerous guys, but at the end of the day, they're just guys. They don't have that trigger.
Yeah, so I can do that. I don't know if I want to, like, assembly even. Because I forget whether or not these guys just attack you or not. Anyway, Duke Girth is going to run towards us. Probably would want to assembly, like, this guy. It's with death blow even, right? What's your AS? 21. Get out of here. Yeah, I wouldn't assembly. I'd just kill him then. Okay, nice. 22 attack. Yeah, okay, you're just outrageously strong right now. Um, what about you? The thieves all seem rather weak, at least. Seems like a solid plan. Let's figure out the rest of it. I'm pretty sure I want nobody fighting those guys in the top at the moment. Or those guys, like, just above me. The three Agarthid soldiers are, like, the center east. I don't think I want anybody fighting them. These three guys. Like, two snipers and a warrior? And they're stuck in terrain? Like, what do I profit from fighting them? You know, another thing I could do, actually, is I could warp up this way, and I could actually have Claude hit one of them. Because I forgot, I have a flyer, so I don't need to warp this. Normally, I have to warp this way, but today I have a flyer, so I could actually warp up here and then hit and then just go this way. And again, I don't really know how these guys aggro or even if they aggro. But I could easily get rid of one of these guys. And I know I just said maybe I don't want to do that, but I mean, think about it. That seems too strong, does it not? And then this square is actually reserved for somebody who can actually go this way. Maybe I don't even stride. Yeah, let's actually, let's fix your weapons though, because your, your weapons are actually like really cringe right now. I haven't even like given you anything good. Um, What do I want? I have iron bow, I could probably just push this. I'm at 16 out of 60 endurance. Eh, it's probably fine. Like, I took a little bit of damage last map, but I, I should be in the clear, essentially. Yeah, I hit, like, a sniper, and then it's just this sniper and this warrior. This sniper could probably try to get to attack from 3 range. Nah, there, there's, like, no favorable way to do that, basically. If I stride, I could actually maybe have you go up here and, like, try to attack him. Well, hold on. This is actually rather good. Because look at that. You also have Axe Breaker, don't you? Okay, yeah, I could equip Axe Breaker on Yuri. Okay, maybe Axe Breaker Yuri is going to go up there. I don't need this or this. Just do that. Just do Axe Breaker. I'd rather have bow prowess. I was like, do I really want bow prowess? And the answer is yes, I do really want bow prowess. Okay, and then what? So I have to kill this guy. How much two-bit bulk does he have? So 34 plus 41 is 75. Then at least 38. I'm a bit short. Just a bit, though. Oh, that actually makes up the difference. Okay, so Yuri, as long as he's strode, actually does one round this guy. That's nice to know. The rest of us, unfortunately... Uh, okay, first off, you definitely killed this guy, right? Like, no way, no way you fail to do that. Um, we could have, like, plane do it? I don't know. It's kind of awkward, because if I put someone here, one, two, three, like... I say I deploy an arbitrary person there, right? These are some arbitrary people. And they get strode. Stride might have to be after, like, these guys have vacated, right? Or I could just do it on you guys. It'll hit Flame, but I can figure out a solution to that.
You have Kanto, so you can just get away. You don't have Longbow, though. Hmm. I could give you 11 Sword Plus, could I not? No, I can't give you 11 Sword Plus, even. Hmm. I'm gonna need Stride on them, at least, though. Okay, let's go this way. First up, do I want Cyril? No. Wow, no. Not Especially not working to deploy one of these guys. Are you kidding me? And I can deploy one of, like, Shamir or Catherine. This is way better. Or Leone, even. Dude, those are way better. Like, way better. Uh, maybe even Hilda wants to go. Leone's got a little bit more oomph, does she not? Okay, what can I put these guys over here with? Probably want to, like, Fusilad this guy. You have 17 charm. I also remember to take this offensive gambit off of Sylvain. I don't want that. I don't think Assault Troop is going to be the play here. I need a different battalion. I have like 24 charm, goodness. I mean, but just because of this. Also, I don't need I don't need resilience in this map, right? And like, maybe I kind of do. 24 magic attack. How much resilience do you have? You have 32 resilience right now. This doesn't really do anything, yeah. What is this? Is this Steel Res or Steel Defense? That's Steel Defense, okay. I don't even know if Steel Res is in the game. Does anybody in this game have Steel Res? I have no idea. Okay, the Fetters. Could you, like, equip the Fetters in order to get out of here faster, bro? Society, if he equips the Fetters. They could go here. Maybe I, no, no, no. I do need to stride turn one because of Claude. Oh, I think, hold on, hold on. There's um, there's something I can do with a Pegasus here, if I have a Pegasus deployed. What I'm sure is that I want to Adjutant Hilda to Claude, because I know that she's going to be doing a lot of, like, combat in Peg... Or, I know that Claude's going to be doing a lot of combat. I want to Adjutant. Maybe, maybe now is the time when I actually just... I was like, this is Yuri, where's Claude? Maybe now is the time when I actually, like, get the payoff for training up. What's it called? Um... Pegasus Knight. I'm like, yes, I'm not working towards death blow. That is theoretically correct. But maybe I don't mind. Anyway, you're gonna cast the stride on like Yuri question mark. Then Flane can go here. You don't have bow breaker yet, at least. Um I can give you the accuracy ring, actually. Um there are gonna be aren't there gonna be some cavalry enforcements? It's gonna be like a cavalry enforcement up here whenever Duke Garrett gets like triggered, right? So I think having the layer, having okay, first off, let's fix this. Let's give you Night Kneeler. I feel like this is a good art. You know, maybe maybe chat, maybe you agree with me that that's a good art. Oh, and Swordbreaker seems sandy too. I can give you Iron Lance Plus as well. In addition to all this crap. Here's Iron Lance Plus. I don't think you need... Fort Spear, to be honest with you. Let's do Accuracy Ring. And let's give you a Fusilad Gambit. You don't need it. Do I do I only have the one Fusilad? What? I guess I have a poisoned arrows. I thought I had an extra copy of Ceres Archer somewhere. Okay, so it's in here. 
Anything else I need? From this battalion guild, maybe? I don't really see anything great here. I mean, like, the, the Seraph's Archers is good, of course, but I, I don't need another copy of it. Can I reach the enemies and fuse light? These guys, yeah. Well, that's the idea, is I want to fuse light them. It's not a it's not an issue of like, oh, I don't want to hit them with the fuse lead. Like I do want to hit them with the fuse lead. I could give Blaine the Thursus. Oh hold up. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He'll be able to go west is the main idea, anyway. Um probably don't need Rally luck. Just do Fiendish Blow. Does she still want to be in Mage? Fire is kind of a good spell, so yes, right? Oh, she just has fire, though. Does she want to be in Priest instead? Minus one magic, plus one res? I don't think that really matters, right? Let's put away the torch, too. I don't need that. AS8. Oh, your speed actually is really crap. To be fair, though, I have not been making any effort to improve her speed stat. None whatsoever. She's just going to get 14 whenever she starts Warlock, and that'll be her speed. You're just going to warp what's his name, right? So you... First things first, I will stride on Claude, and then you go here, you go first, right? You have an axe. What weapon do I actually want for you? gonna have to hit that so if i fuse add him which should be like pretty straightforward right yeah i have that and i have personal actually can i go can i give him poisoned arrows i think i can give him poisoned arrows that's an extra 10 hit there we go much better poisoned arrows now so this should be 85 hit just on its own But I guess you come in here. I don't know what you would do against this guy. Maybe. Okay, do you actually want to, like, maybe just attack plain old or no? Let me look at Leonie's abilities. Oh, this would help, would it not? Um, that desk. I think now is actually the time. Hold up, think about it, right? Check this out. Now might be the time for Bat Desp Leone. We just need Thunderbrand on her, right? Let's fix the Thunderbrand. I have a feeling we're going to use that a lot this map. What's her sword prowess at right now? One? That's fine. Uh, but let's repair the Thunderbrand. Oh, I got, I got plenty. I was like, do I have enough for this? Yeah, come on. I got, I got loads. This is going to be the run where I run out of money. Don't worry about it. Okay, give her the Thunderbrand. And I think, again, what I'm actually going to do, battalions. Because she can actually just one round them. And then battalions for Claude. And Claude won't actually need it. The thing is, he can benefit from having the, what's it called, the wyverns here. He can also damage them, which is nice. 
and you're not good. So unequip defensive tactics if you have it. Keeping bad desp is totally fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have Claude like run into the middle of this mosh pit, essentially. Uh, see if he can't kill all of these guys. Or with 30 prot, he should be able to, right? What do you guys reckon? Will he be able to do it with 30 prot? Uh, 24 AS only, though. 21. Hmm, maybe we need more than that. Do I have, like, a training axe? I probably have a training axe somewhere that I could equip. Alright, so I could also just not bring the steel shield, right? No, the, the steel shield is like kind of... Uh, I'll just bring an iron shield instead. That's actually better. Twenty-five. Now you double. Now you double. Okay, cool. Maybe I don't need a stride then. Maybe I don't even need a warp. I don't think I even need a warp. Hold on. I do need a stride still. Because I want a stride to hit him. Maybe I... No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I have it now. I warp Leone here. That's exactly what happens. Yes. Okay, where's Leone? It's like, I have an Iron Plus around here somewhere, right? Give me that. Is Catherine coming onto the map? Um, but no, I warp Leone. And then I stride the crew. You just kill. You're oh, I guess you could kill from here. That makes it, like, slightly less out of position. You're so out of position after that, though. Or just maybe find some other group of units who can kill them. Like, that's the issue, is after I do this, I'm so... Maybe I grab Hilda. Can Hilda do it? That's a lot, though, like... 38 attack? 38 attack is not, like, easy to come across, right? I don't think it can be done. Just just do it, right? Just do it like this. Okay, anyway, you have Darting Blows. You're gonna have, like, 26 attack speed. And with Thunderbrand, that should be, like, plenty for all these guys. Especially, like, Thunderbrand, Bat Desp. Yeah, get out of here. You'll have plenty. What do you want? March Ring and Accuracy Ring, I bet, right? Okay, let's, let's start with Leone. She's, like, kind of the, the crux of my strat. And I want March Ring on you as well. Because now you no longer need it since you're just going to warp Leone. Guys, there's so much stuff that Yuzu won't even start anymore. Can't test the Ash Cafe Prologue anytime soon. Rip. I, I mean, I trust um, if what Triabolical said it. Okay, I was about to say if what Triabolical said is true. Rather, I trust that what Triabolical said is true. That That's what I should have said to begin with. Uh, your inventory is good. You just go down here and kill this guy. Um... You gamble them with like 85 to hit, you dance, something happens, and you attack them. Everyone seems pretty alright here. Let's just put a battalion on Lysithia. Let's make sure nobody has like a weird champ bat equipped. You have level 5 Gloucester Knights, that's pretty good. It's better than Victor Private. I think just Saros magic. Nothing too crazy. How to do the forced casual mode? Oh, like how to turn a map onto casual mode? The same way that say um chapters one and chapters six, chapters one and seven are. What do I want on um Shamir? Do I want Jamer? Because I probably want something like Victor Private, to be honest. Or do I want Nouvelle Chamberlain? Let's equip Victor Private and then compare it to Novell Chamberlain. The issue is that, like, even though the stats are really good, um, the Gambit is non existent. And having Gambits is kind of valuable. In my mind, at least. Uh, this should be enough, right? I've kind of given everybody stuff.
I mean, like, to, uh, to say that the devs messed up, how do you know that that wasn't the intention? The only the only person whom I know for a fact messed up was fe3h.com by posting that without testing it. That's the only one I know for a fact messed up. Does he get a reward or something? I can't remember the message. If there is one. I usually don't read the dialogues. There's the crit ring, I'm gonna guess. No, it's probably better to have this stuff on other people. Oh, um, where's where's Hilda? Oh wow, hold on. Store all your crap. Yeah, they, these are really valuable items for an adjutant. Yeah. Put those away. Put those away. You need to have uh what's it called? Oh, I could put shoes of the wind on somebody. This is a bit important, don't you think? Don't you think shoes of the wind are good? Let's do shoes of the wind on you. It's a little bit important. For this map, it was better on Hill and on Leone, but for like literally every other map in the game, it's better on Claude. Secret book, question mark, secret spirit dust, black pearl, premium magic. Um, I mean, it's looking like Flane is going to be my most important magic user. So maybe I just go ahead and give her the magic boosters, right? Maybe I do. Can Shamir, can Catherine get anything useful? Did I start fighter on her? I can maybe try and get strength plus two from fighter, right? Maybe do that. Let's adjutant them to uh, Fergie. Oh, and she has the rapier plus. That's kind of a good item. I should probably put those up. Um, what would she like? What XP? Bow? Sword? Probably sword. Let's get sword. What? I'm just doing like the once over of everyone's stuff again, making sure everyone's correct. You're good. I don't think there's any stealables in this map. Not to mention, Byleth has a really hard time stealing. Uh, this is totally fine, right? Yes. Good. I want a, I want a bow on you maybe for later. How many Iron Bow Pluses do I have? Probably like heaps. None of these are important for you. Oh, Knowledge Gem on Hilda? Right. And then what weapon does she want to train? Probably axes, right? Yes, yeah, gotta be axes. Can't be anything else, really. This is right for you. Yes, that's what I want. It's good for you. I, I I still want to keep the faith prowess, by the way, just in case I decide that I need to um, get some healing with Nosferatu. This could, of course, be mimicked by Battalion Renewal. Actually, yeah, hold up a sec. Yeah, forget that. Let's do Battalion Renewal. Wait, is this actually the case? Battalion Renewal? Yes, it has to be. Battalion Renewal, better than faith prowess. I mean, it's kind of a, what, what a high bar, right? But in this case, I mean, think about it. If Flane does get seriously injured, I think she's going to be in Battalion Renewal range. Will she not? Yeah, she's at 30 out of 45. That doesn't seem too outlandish that if she gets really injured, she's suddenly in Battalion Renewal range. There we go. That's about when I'd be pulling out the Nosferatu anyway. And then you, I mean, I guess there's like maybe a case we made for HP plus five, but it's hard for me to say. This also give you like regular swords. Well, I guess this is this is regular swords. Okay. 
Cool. Uh, let us begin. The sun. But because she has no legal attacks, I can go here and cast Stride on Claude. Thanks for that. Thank you. I wanted to cast it on Yuri, did I not? Yes, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to cast Stride on Yuri after warping Leone. No, no, no. Hmm. It's maybe more complicated than I thought. Oh, she got hit by the Stride too. No, that's totally fine. Okay, the, the correct people got hit by the Stride. I thought for a moment that Leone didn't get hit by the Stride, and I was like, uh, wrong target, but no, it's totally correct. Um, okay, likewise, the Scythia does not have any legal attacks. Three in a row, these need to hit. It's turn one. Another one down. Can't get comfortable. Oh, crest. Look at that, perfect. Don't forget who you're dealing. <laughs> Blimey. That's so much, bro. Golden deer for you. It's a bit good, I think. To work. I think this is the strongest team I've had doing this paralogue in like a long time. A really long time. Make them yeah, I kind of have like a really cracked team. I think it's that long time. I guess I remember getting the words even if Rhea got hurt started believing it so if the thing in the code is right it means i was right all along that's right more important than all of that is vindication stay focused oh wait what oh you're actually one off huh oh right 10 i thought i had 11 move for some reason And look at this. He's just perfectly not in vantage range. Like a little bit less than he would be. Just go on the internet and tell lies. Again, all right, crazy. Um, you know, I could possibly remove all of the attacks. You know, strength dex is pretty good for you, all right? What'd you, I think you had like strength dex defense. That's pretty good. I'll take strength dex, strength dex defense. She's so good, man. The least I could do. Yep, no legal attacks. Look at that. Twenty-eight pride, bro. Come at me. Yeah, I think my team's kind of good. 
each battle a chance to grow. Just a bit. Call it a hunch. Yikes. Never underestimate an outsider. C plus flying doesn't give him anything, does it? Or like alert stance, maybe? Yeah, it's playing like an ox battle. This is like, this is one of the harder paralogs too. Holy crap. Don't expect much more than that. I don't need to. Imagine, imagine expecting any more than that. That's like everything. Other stance is B or B. It's gotta be B. I know, I lower stance plus is A plus. But like, a level like that? Damn. Okay, it was a good thing it's an adjunct level too, so I keep it if I reset. E. Never underestimate an outsider. I sort of forgot that with Thunder Brain, we actually like take damage afterwards too, so like Leonie might be in a bit of trouble. We'll see though. Oh wow. Not even. Yeah, like I was, I mean I said it earlier, man, like just Just take us to the end game screen, alright? Like just let, let's start the next run, you know? Alright, that's actually a bit of an issue, however. This is with March Ring, even. Um, okay, I got an idea. Oh, it doesn't work. Because I don't have my second cast of warp. Less. There's a way to do it. Uh, I, okay, I see. I see the way to do it. I just have to do it now. I, I, I know how to kill this guy. I see the way to do it. I just have to do it now. Um. Another threat down. So 
steadfast. Back to the fray. Actually, it wasn't enough. I did it. I did that whole complicated thing. There was actually something much simpler. Luck is always on my side. There was something much simpler that I could have done. It was this. To work. No crit this time though. Interesting. Stay focused. Is that? It like somewhat complicates things, but not by a lot. I'm on it. Let us away. Let me make sure Fernand doesn't have any attacks here. He can't attack. Even with poison arrows, can't be. He can't attack anybody. The sun. Back to the fray. <laughs> Sorry. Ready and willing. There we go. And that's how you do it. I do need to hit, but you know I got two chances at it. That's the I thought I'd nab for an hour. Suddenly, I mean, let's hit the Ferdinand Paralog. Nah, we're in this one. That'll be a nightmare. Um. Yeah, no, nothing. Sure thing. He thinks this is a better way to go. Leave it to me. Okay, other phase. Um, although, oh, all oh, right. I remember that trigger now. Let's not do that yet. Ready and willing. It's not luck. What'd you guys say? Let's not do that yet. Let's get to it. Sure thing. Seems like the wise decision. Wanna skip thieves? If I go here, hmm. How does this not proc it? Oh, well, because he was here. And so I went on this square and killed the thief, and then I can't do it that way. He, so Duke was on this square, and then he moved to me. That's why. You have to end your action next to Duke. I guess I could do that, or I could keep attacking, right? This isn't, this isn't even, like, that bad. I have to hit two. I have marching on. I could equip Accuracy Ring, even, for better odds. Oh, no, 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 not Gambit. This is, and this is, like, way better odds, too. It's a 69 as well, so it's got to hit, right? Oh, whoa. Don't hold this me, okay? Never mind. I misclicked, but it didn't matter. Good form. All skill, all skill, by the way. 
you know all skill I am Ferdinand von oh hmm yeah never punished exactly Let us away. um so i could actually rescue in order to avoid this obligatory gambit I mean, like, what would the punishment actually would have, like, hit Leone for a million damage? Would he have not? I mean, like, a million is a bit of a... Stay a bit of an exaggeration, admittedly. But, you know, it's, like, pretty close to what would have happened. Assault troop. Yo, imagine if I just get in here with a massive assault troop. That'd be kind of funny. I think it would be, at least. To work. But no, let's get away from here. And take on these guys when we feel we are ready. Well, he would have attacked Lee. Ooh. Actually, what would, he, what would he have done? I was about to wall this off. I don't know what he would have done, to be honest. Okay. Actually, do we mind using this poison air? I would I would like to keep this, this final use of a 60-hit gambit, guys. What do you guys reckon? Would you like to keep this final use of a 60-hit gambit that can attack at three range? That seems like actually rather valuable in this kind of playthrough, if anything. Um, hmm, I could assist you backwards. And then, so what happens then? At some point, I take out these guys, and at some point, I think I gotta rush this lot, right? No drawback? Well, I could. I think I have, yeah, I do have drawback on you. Wouldn't I rather heal, though? Maybe rescue is more valuable, though, than drawback. Like, think about it, you know? Wait a sec. I can draw back, and then. <laughs> Easy dub. And then. Boom. You're 20, right? Yeah, okay. Well, level 20, you know. I think actually she's like a million or something. I can't keep these. I can't keep it straight, though. Amazing use of dance. It's true. I mean, if he had white magic, then I might have to Nosferatu instead of dance, so... It's gotta level it up sooner or later. I guess I could have danced Flane. But, like, Flane's already level 20, right? And she doesn't really get anything for more faith rank. I don't think so, at least, right? No, I mean, maybe she eventually gets her, like, white magic attacking spell, but, like, come on, guys. Is that, a, is that a big deal? No. Not at all. Turn three. Okay, so what shall I prepare to do? It's route. Interesting. I actually wonder if I can just, like, route them on a random turn at some point. Before the reinforcements come in is what I mean to say. Got 16. Attack 22. Can't you find a shield somewhere? Square safe. Oh, this square is slightly better. Check this out. Don't go that way, and that's the danger zone. Oh crap, are we gonna be okay? Duke. Buddy. To do the fire animation. Each battle a chance to grow. It's just over the bridge. Interesting. Interesting they chose to do the fire animation for that. Holy crap, these guys are fast. I just saw that. 27 AS, like bro. 
Um, oh, you have March Rang, so actually you are technically obligated to attack them if you can. I forgot to give you, like, literally any sword arts, by the way. Oh, you don't have any. You're E+. Plus. Duh. Um, you don't have, like... Smash or nothing, do you? You do. Exactly what the doctor ordered. It's not luck. It's fate. They say we unequip this weapon that's, like, damaging the hell out of us right now. I think that'd be handy and nice. Oh, um, bad guys are going to appear next turn, so I really need to make sure that I vacate this area and this area, actually. There's basically no other way to go about it, though, right? I guess I could have maybe gone down with Claude. I'm, I'm kind of fine proccing the reinforcements now, though, to be honest with you. I don't mind it. Maybe I could have done a better job getting, like, Leone and Claude in position. We've got this. Beasts. They brought... This is a lot of dudes. Like, that's a lot of dudes. Um, I might just go back and undo that trigger. I had ways to deal with it that did not involve moving next to Duke. And I, I kind of want to be closer to these guys anyway. Right? Yeah, no, I want to be closer to them. Because in this, like, in this circumstance where, like, Shamir and only Shamir is forced to attack them, that's, like, kind of really bad. Oh, holy crap, actually. Are you good to, do you just have it? I mean, like, you kind of have it with Victor Private, maybe, but, like, do you, though? Okay, so... I got some crit right here. Imagine you do, though, right? It's so, like, imagine you do. AS 18, AS 13. Wait, holy crap. You might just have it. Those guys just have invisible move ranges. Is it one of those guys? Let's give it a go. Oh, I like it. Let's give it a go, right? Sleep in the dirt. Appreciate it. Okay, so it does have you being attacked by them. Oh, okay, I didn't see it before, I guess. I actually got a lot of pride. I've got another option. Yeah, let's only um, fight them when we feel comfortable fighting them. To work. I am Ferdinand von. Let us away. Stay focused. Unfortunately, 
you are way out of position for like everything. We can get you in position. Sure thing. Leave it to me. Probably what's gonna happen is Shamir is at some point just gonna sit on this and like bait out a sniper attack. And then it will begin. Yeah, you have disturbance gambits. That's like totally this is totally doable. The sun. Oh, we could have combat darted. Stay focused. Illegal move. Just burn it. That's why I buy the extra divine pulses. Sorry, but victory is mine. I got left four. That's plenty, right? Okay. Um, let's just move our army up here towards this lot. I can even provide Lily's poise for what it's worth. Which is at least something, right? Like, that, that's gotta be worth something. No attacks. To work. No attacks. And I'm, I'm even providing Lily's poise now. This is even much better. Let's get our units in position to take them out. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. The sun. I guess we could even rally. I'm good now. I don't know what that would do, but we could do it. I'll manage. Leave it to me. Sure thing. Here he comes. Let's go. Dodge the 12 and a half. Well, it's not like that. It's a little bit more. It's like 16 or 17. Silenced. Closer to 17. Eh? Yeah, it's closer to 16. We could curve shot with Claude at some point. The rest of these guys, I think... Thing. So first off, Sylvain actually doesn't have a dance because he could take a... He doesn't have a dance. Ooh, or doesn't have an attack. So he can dance right now. You go here. Of 20. Wait, you do not have much AS. What the hell? Only 24 speed? Man, these guys are weak. Eighteen a an eighteen attack speed thief man get out of here and this is the Agarthan soldier army this isn't even the thief army this isn't these aren't even like the doo doo guys who like are just fodder for you these are like the actual like enemy soldiers so what I want to do is like pack it in over here basically and then have Duke Garrett reach me. That's what I want. Who don't want to get the XP? Oh, it'd be fun if Ferdinand got some, would it not? Only a fool challenges me. Just barely not in vantage range. One more and that would have done it. Let's use magic sap wind. I think that's what I need to do. Look at that. 97 hit. Easy. My brother will be pleased. Oh, I can't dance you anymore. Oh, what rubbish. I should have thought of that before I went in and just like bung it in there with Ferdinand, to be honest with you. Oh, that's a that was a pretty foolish thing of me to do. Worth question mark? No, I just have Violet do it. 
Constance, I mean, this is like the extent of her usefulness is this map, right? So. As expected. I mean, now it's just a question of do I want to put my units in such a place where we can like activate the reinforcements? Is now the time? Uh, Leone and Claude would be in position. We could wall, mate. No, we can't even wall. Hmm. I'll have like two. So I'll have a group here able to deal with this lot. I mean, you'll be in range to like maybe grab the Thursus. Uh, I could like go somewhere with Thursus flying, and then like you'll be in range to grab the Thursus and like go somewhere else, right? I think now is the time. I appreciate it. Don't you get an item if uh, Constance goes near him? I think you do. Yeah, you, either that or some dialogue, right? It's your bat. It's like, um, it's Lester Merck, it's like with the blaze. We've got beasts. Does he not move this turn? They brought... He's moving towards Byleth, right? Okay, we can bait them out onto Duke Girth. He's actually really powerful. Like, these are not bad stats. 17 prot even is a lot. Okay, um, so let's find the people who could, like, theoretically attack these calves and have them do the combats first. That way we don't end up being locked into a move. Or we can't do anything about these guys. We have 24 magic attack. Why did my Pegasi have like no res? Leonie and Hilda, I'm pretty sure both have base res for Pegasus Knight. Bro, that's pretty unfortunate. Zero times two. Might as well take it, right? I don't really care for like kills on plane at this point. All I really care for is um, just damage. Um, where's Claude? You know, here's the thing though. Oh, you don't have Lancebreaker though. I thought you had Lancebreaker for a moment. I was like, I can just send you up here and have you like kill these guys. Can you? Pretty sure I can. I, well, this guy's a bit tricky. Wait, hold on a sec. It's a weight minus three paladin. I never realized that they have weight minus three. It's actually pretty scary. Would be at least. Um, what's your gambit hit rate? Disturbance. So like at least thirty. I really, really like that. Yeah, it'd be better to... You have Disturbance as well. If I have the Axe equipped, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. what would you do if I had the Axe equipped? Interesting, you don't go for the Disturbance Gambit? Is that not just like a, an error in the UI? Maybe it's true they don't go for the Disturbance Gambit. Okay, we could go over here, right? Here's one thing we can do. So Yuri would possibly be obligated to go that way. So let's just have him lead with a um, curve shot steel bow on this guy. Maybe he crits, who knows? And I think that even though that... There we go. We can totally just Night Kneeler or even Shatter Slash actually would be better. Night Kneeler or Shatter Slash this guy. And then we go forward, probably attack the sniper. With no other wiki contributions. Yeah, it's on wiki. It's on fp3h.com as well. That's why I was, I really thought for a moment, I was like, oh, it must be because it's on, no, no, no disrespect. Actually, I was about to say no disrespect to the wiki, but I frankly, I think we're past that point in our relationship, the wiki and me, right? I don't mind giving disrespect to the wiki. Oh, I shouldn't have put um, Byleth there, should I have not? That was a really good level too. 
Because now, look at that. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Um, I guess, could I theoretically grab an iron bow from this guy and that means I can't dance? Yes, okay. If I go here, however, what happens is... Aha, look at that. And now, what happens is... Oh, no, I can't attack them anymore, so I have to go this way. Back to the fray. I think I can just hit them at this point, right? I could even maybe grab like a short spear and javelin them for the extra bonus XP. At some point, Ferdinand does need to promote, am I right? Well, yeah, Epi3H does it too. It says like you need to protect everybody. Or protect Abreo. Look, the wiki can't help it. That is bad, you know? Yeah, fp3h.com has it too. The same error. Should have gone here. That was pretty foolish of me, in fact. And look at that. 21 out of 41. Easy. No vantage. It's the least Don't forget, guys. Snipers have vantage. All snipers on Maddening have vantage. Actually, if I do this, look at that. Oh my god, that's beautiful. If I do that... Oh, but he might he might really gambit me then. Oh, come on. What goes, what, what's actually the issue if I get gambited here? I don't think there is one. There's no issue whatsoever, right? Yeah. Um, Anywhere I want to go? Here's fine. Oh, you have a talk, right? Let's have you do a talk. I guess there's no... I thought you got, like, an item. Yeah, the wiki deserves it, honestly. Every bad word that comes this way. I think Meissen just sits there, right? It's only his little flunkies. He's not using desperate... I didn't know you could pause. It was a good try. What button did I hit to pause? I paused it, did I not? I didn't know you could do that. Shall we dance? I had no idea you could pause that. It's not luck, it's fate. It was uh, it was X, whatever button's at the top. If there's an update to the game. Yeah, I've got this down. Yet it was made on 15 September, so it'll be version 1.0.2 or earlier. Hmm. I don't know if that's the kind of thing that would change in an update, but maybe, maybe. Missed a 94. Yo, someone called Justin. I mean, missing a 94 is, like, pretty regular, right? I mean, like, come on. That, that's nothing to write home about. Nor is it anything to write Justin about. Um, I think Flane could probably make a good... Get a, get a good... Get some good headway. If she started moving over in this direction. Any legal attacks? I think not. But she's our girl, right? Yeah, because she she has heaps more resistance than anyone else. Yeah, we'll sort by resilience and check it out. Yeah, so Flane has 32. I know you guys can't really see so much, but like Flane has 32 and then Fergie is the next at 16. I think she's the girl for the job. Oh, no, the Paralog did have an update to base game version. Damn, Sylvain. Remember when I said I'm not going to have this guy be a combat unit? Kind of regretting that now. More and more with each passing day. Yeah, we got to watch out for these guys, though, because at some point this assassin is going to come up here. And I think I have enough to maybe like take him out. How much attack speed does he have? Wow, uh, 24, yes. Okay, yeah, he's actually actually a total chump. I think I should equip Cutting Gale. No. 
then in the meantime, everyone needs to get down here. Sorry, but victory is mine. What? We got Darting Blow and I think Armored Blow on Hilda now. Yeah, from time to time, I'm like, you know what? There should be a Fire Emblem website that's just only full of factual information. And then I'm like, okay, but who's going to be the guy to make that? And determine what goes on it and how it's presented. Like, at the end of the day, at the very least, like, Wikiorg, even though it has some policies which are frustrating, at the very least, it's, like, consistent. Holy crap, dude. Not Tribalical. Yeah, Tribalical won't be the one. As opposed to just like collecting this information in random places online, right? Maybe we should all collect it in one consistent place. Um, Blaze Gambit here seems like actually really attractive. Does it not? There's this one random mage though. Huh. Yeah, that's like a bit awkward. We have this one mage. And you can still do Anna's Paralog? Really? I think that one I know. I think I've seen that one before. Gotta be careful with where I put like Yuri and Ferdinand here. Another thing that can happen here is... Who has like an Assault Troop? You do. Okay, um... I'd like, assembly you lot. Oh, you have impregnable wall. It's actually, like, really inconvenient. Um... 18 charm, maybe? Oh, okay, 16 charm. Okay, let's take a look at some of these squares. Because we actually need to make sure that whatever happens, we're, like, kind of away from them. It's what fp3h.com has, but it's not true. Wait, what? Oh, you said, um... Like, fp3h.com says that Yuritsa can be killed and you can still do the paralog, but it is not true? You seem like pretty easy... Like, okay, okay. This is not in respect to the people who edit and maintain the site. But just as far as, like, putting things on... I feel like it's really not that difficult to, like, verify quickly in the game such things. You know? Then again, I don't really do a whole... Holy crap. That's a lot. Um, 57 times 2. Maybe that's a good time to proc the... Um, it is only true for non-Crimson Flower Root? Oh. Well, I mean, like, how else do you get Yuritsa killed off? Except by playing Crimson Flower. What, uh, what is the actual truth? Tribolical. Like, what, what is the actual truth of the matter here? Because I, th I think I'm misunderstanding your statements. Because, like, you said something, and then later on you said that they said this, but it's not true. Like, what, what, is, the what is the truth regarding Yuritsa and the Anna Paralogue? Just like, it, like, just in one go, what's the truth? Is one of the wiki most... Well, I know that happens to you a lot, right, Mew? I mean, like, maybe not a lot, a lot, but, like, plenty often, right? Um, I'm pretty confident in putting Plane right here, by the way. Even though she's going to get attacked by an archer, I don't actually think it's a big deal. They both have 50 to hit, and they don't kill is the main idea. They don't kill. The way I interpret it is Yuritsa has to be alive on Crimson Flower despite the wiki saying otherwise. The Anna Paralog has an additional check for Yuritsa's death for access in Crimson Flower only. And that is to say that uh, if Yuritsa has died in Crimson Flower only, then um, you cannot do the Paralog. I think, by the way, this is just the right thing to do. Um, let's just start with this clue. Maybe I shouldn't have done it because it has an uncertain outcome.
Uh, this seems like a wise thing to do as well. I would love to like not be in a like bad position here, but I have a feeling this is kind of like unavoidable, right? I mean, like look at this. Although, you know, thinking about it, right? Well, nah, pretty much no matter what happens, I'm kind of like in a rough spot. I have 32 attack, 40 something, which avoid 25. Another thing I could do is I could just find a way to like bunga Ferdinand in here and like gambit you, right? That'd be oh, that's really tricky. Wait a sec, hold on, I view. Maybe. Like imagine I just dismounted you and had you like hit him. How much damage do you actually do with this thing? So 32, right? Also, who moves first? Is it a Garthen soldier here? It's so it's a Garthen soldier with the beard and with you. But then the enemy team. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> You're like you are literally the first person to move. Okay. So then what should I do? Hmm. I could draw Lysithia back. Right? Is that not... Well, you... Hold on, you still have Thursus. Although, you do have Thursus. So, imagine for a moment, right? That you, who don't have an attack... Who, who does not have an attack, rather. Like, takes Thursus and gives it to Lysithia. And then you go, like, here and attack the Brigand instead. Then you're out of range. And then as long as I can Gambit this guy... Which shouldn't be too hard, too difficult, right? Because you're still at full HP. Uh, and I think you've got plus one charm as well. So, what I can do, even, is, like... um. Although you don't have a... Oh, wait. No, wait. No, you don't have an attack down here. You don't have curve shot equipped or anything, do you? No, and you don't have rank... Wait, but you have the 11 sword plus. Ugh. I knew that would come back to bite me later. I was like, I should take the 11 sword plus out of convoy. I feel like that'd be handy. And then I guess what I didn't do. I didn't take the 11 sword plus out of convoy ever. Ugh. Okay, well... Looks like I gotta hit this guy. What's your accuracy? 108? Ugh, that's kind of gross. Maybe I'd just give you like the avoid ring and I kind of hope. Wait, I can rally your res. Oh, that's like a, that's like a, that's a start. You know, it's not a lot, but it's a start. Is it not? Um, what if I go, like, here? Alright, imagine for a moment. I go here, and then I dismount. What then? Ooh, these guys are going. Thanks for, like, DM dub. Glad to have you in. I knew the freaking Leaven Sword Plus would come back to bite me. Yo, okay, well, Byleth is obligated to attack this turn. Unless... I mean, I could, I could just take it out of combo with Leone. She's not doing anything this turn anyway. Okay. Obligation removed. Your Thursus, madam? Then I think I can go like here, right? It even go like here. Okay, uh, where do I want to go? I probably want to have Lysithia go like here in order to attack this guy, and then that satisfies her attack requirement. Even have you go like here, right? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. That looks good, but it's actually terrible. 
I gotta figure out what I'm okay. First off, I got you I got you figured out already. Alright, I know exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna go down here and you're going to fuse the that assassin. So why don't we do that first? Right? Where we kind of know what's going on. And I can go back up here with you. Yeah, look at that. All the way back up here. Perfect. I'll show you a plan. Or Poisoned Arrows, rather. It's not Fuse of that game, but it's Poisoned Arrows Gambit. Gary's got to do something. As bad as it looks, because, like, basically Yuri is completely out of position for everything in the future now. Oh, this is also pretty bad, too. I guess I could have theoretically crit. But I needed to open up the square here for Lysithia. Also, actually, why was I worrying about that? There is no reason to worry, I don't think. This is what I do. Yeah, no attacks. Easy. This is just getting him like even further out of position, right? Maybe that's what I want though. Let's check it out. If I go down here, maybe I can even get like this dark mage, say. Or this dark bishop rather. To come down to like the side here. And then I can maybe kill him with the brave sword. That sounds like a really good idea. Like imagine I get this guy to move east. Yeah, that'd be massive. That would be a huge advantage to me. And then the only thing left to do is um, find something for Claude to do, I think, right? I guess theoretically, I, technically you, you have to do something as well, right? I might as well put you in position somewhere, right? Um, and you had no attacks, so it's totally fine that I did that. I could maybe like go here and then there. No, I'm getting attacked if I do that. I should have equipped sort of the creator for um, this dark mage. Though, hold on, I know what I can do. Nah, I'm just gonna attack him. I think nothing fancy, nothing too fancy. Attack him and then like Kanto out of range. Yeah, that's the golden deer for you. Another hold a level. Will it be as good as the other? No, the other was really good. That one was actually pretty trash. If I'm being Honest with you. One, two, three, four. I can go there. Oh, he's still, he's still going for Claude. Interesting. There we go. Just as I expected. Not having to thirst this means no counterattack. That's kind of awkward, but you know what? We lived, so I think that's worth celebrating. Oh. fine that was exact lethal too <laughs> yeah man maybe i should have like equipped a shield or something um what happens if i go here can i just like grave sword this guy down holy crap yeah damn yuri not bad what was this about discount thunderbrand someone was saying earlier thunderbrand's on a different unit I mean, I guess there was nothing stopping. Uh, maybe there was something stopping me from turning that over. Uh, I should be able to figure out a kill for all these guys, right? This, this doesn't seem too complicated. You have a list of challenges that you have tried or conceived. Ignorance is a big one. Low XP deployment, I've done before. Um, low tier. I've done low tier FE6. Uh, minimalist maddening for three houses. So on three houses maddening, I did one where I wasn't allowed to do like auxiliary battles. I wasn't allowed to go to monastery. If you do like X-Clan minimalist, you get it. 
I could just look through my bot commands. Force attack is this one. Non-FE challenges still count. Um, I've done Dark Souls Soul Level 1, Deathless. Well, I haven't done it. I haven't finished it. I keep on saying we're going to do it, but I've never actually done it. Um, I did some XCOM 2. Oh, just in shit. Like, I'm, I'm only listening to ones on stream, by the way. I only listen to the ones on stream. If I went through, like, all of the ones I've ever done, we'd be here for, like, ages. Um... But just in this one, so Force Attack I've done. Uh, lowest DXP is another one I've done. I've done that for Ready and Dawn and FE8, where I had to deploy the people with the lowest DXP. Minimalist as well. Uh, no healing. I started no healing. Um, and then I kind of had to move. So I stopped doing no healing. And I think those are the main ones. Oh, Ignorance, of course, yes. Yes, that's that. And then, yes, so I've, I have streams from Dark Souls to level one. That was very fun. Oh. What? Bro, who needs Hunter's Volley? Jesus, she's cracked. I was expecting there to be like a part two to this and be like, oh, then what? How will say? I finally met. Do we even need it? Like, do we even need Hunter's Volley? Thanks. Like, here's... Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do we even need it? I think we can just literally attack people at random and we'll probably win this fight. Yo, hold on. Five defense. We got it. We leveled defense, fellas. Yeah, she's like a little bit good. Only a fool challenges me. He's ridiculous. I guess, like, maybe Hunter's Volley. Come on, like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, bro. Who needs it? Literally, who? Who among you needs Hunter's Volley? Not this woman. Are we done? Okay, you have an adjutant who still needs to master something, I think. So let's have you, like, fight a little bit more. Also, Fod is, like, not getting any experience, so... Oh, and you can still get Sword Rank. That's important, getting Sword Rank, I think. I will need all my strength. I Actually, that was completely useless, that attack there. Literally perfectly thrown. Should I have held back? Yeah, uh, my team's kind of good. I feel like. Just like a little bit, you know? Just a smidge. Forty-four attack. I don't know. Maybe you guys see some way this team could improve. Oh, there's this. I think I just kill him though, right? I could cast rescue. Blaine didn't have a forced attack, so she wasn't. It was it was totally fine for her to do that because Flane did not have a forced attack. She can do whatever she wants, you know. Maybe Leone can take him out, right? I mean, think about it. Just grab like the Thunderbrand, grab the accuracy ring.
Cool though it may be. I should just leave it like that. Yeah, it like doesn't even have any defense. Take him out. Oh, that's for uh, stream elements. Robotic Sigurd has a few others. Just get out of the map. Um, yeah, we can just get out, right? We have the accuracy ring on. I guess we could theoretically start with an attack here, but no, let's just let's just leave. Oh, they're getting a level on Yuri. Seems like it'd be pretty cool. Who's the March Ring? Plane does, right? Let us away. Uh, I do not have a list of Robotic Sigurd's commands. There are a few, like, kind of silly ones, though. Like, exclaim Thanny. D H A N Y. Body of Robotic Sigurd in particular? I felt like it. Um, no, I needed to... I wanted to... Hold on a sec. There were some commands that only Robotic Sigurd was able to do. P-H-A-N-Y. Don't crit. I guess I could have rigged this level. I should have rigged this That's, level. Uh... Yeah, that was actually really foolish of me to have done that. That does mean I can do this. That's fine. She's at like advanced bases. The Gulf of Pretty easy as far as paralogs go. Claude MVP, who could have predicted? Knocking Birthy, these Nouvelle Flowers. Those are both really good, though. Is the robot as good of unit as the real Sigurd? Probably. I don't really know, to be honest. Thank the goddess you were unharmed. Yes, okay. Cold. We couldn't save them. Uh, couldn't save what? Uh, oh, we got the fetters. Kind of a good item, the fetters. Uh, which... They're a little important, by the way. They're rather good. It's been a while since I've played FE4, so it's hard for me to say how good he is compared to Real Secret. All right, let's go for the Flame Warlock Cert. Will she get it? Let's run a prediction before we um, raid. I'm gonna give you two minutes. Teach. Tomas, I mean Solon and his lackeys. Their whereabouts have been discovered. Lackeys? That's a good word. Alright. The prediction is up. Will Flane pass the warlock certification? What is Thanny? That was Shannon's original name. Yeah. Seems like it could. Perhaps it's only. No. This is it is they are the We'll play past the Warlock, sir. Put in your points. Opportunity to earn some points you. Listen, from your careless fellow so viewers. Alright, story mission. Understood. Just, you have the I we think have her odds are going to be like 64%. I want to say it's going to be like 64%. The opportunity to earn some crazy points. Alright. We got the Abyssian exam pass. Who qualifies for that? Plane? Wow, she has like 41% at Dark Flyer. 
Darkfire Plane is kind of cool, but it's not what I want right now. I'd rather have Warlock at the moment. All right. Darkfire, woo! But we're not sorting her in Darkfire. We're gonna sort her in Warlock. That class is a little bit better. Catherine, unfortunately, how close is she to? Wow, she's like basically halfway there. I believe. I believe you passed the Warlock cert. Put in your points. This is your last opportunity to earn points before I find somebody to raid. Here we go. Can't say the line bonus off. I had some best wishes. Belle. Glad to have you in. I'm actually looking for someone on a raid. I've been streaming for a long time. Wait, is this Bell Aim or Bell Alm? Oh, I've been saying Bell Alm this whole time. Bell Aim, welcome, man. We just finished two paralogs. Uh, put in your vote for we're playing past the Warlock cert. I don't know. It's going to disappear in like just one second, though. All right, the votes are in. Let's see who wins some channel points and who loses all of them. 65%. I was wrong. We've got to put playing in the Warlock outfit. Who's straying a while? Plus it was challenged this time. It is forced attack, so anytime my units can attack an enemy, they have to attack the enemy. That's been the challenge. Yeah, I don't actually think I even want Dark Fire on playing. Oh, okay, so what does she get from this, by the way? Uh, none of that. We get plus three speed. That's massive, actually. Oh, wow, she gained, she gained some speed on her own. Plus two defense. That's rather cool. Some other stuff. All right, let's give it a go. Is this certification 1RN? Yes, it's 1RN. I've been, and I've already saved. Ah, oh, rubbish. Choose outcome. Easy, Gamba. Play no! <laughs> Rip, who won points? I know Neptuno lost some. <laughs> Rip. Yep, sorry, guys. Whoever, whoever uh, voted 1.6k just like quadrupled their points. My back <laughs> Poor Flame. And poor Neptuna. All right. I should poor me too. That means I don't have a Warlock for this map. Ugh, gross. Maybe I could like search Soldier or something. I don't know. Damn, I was hoping to, I was hoping to get some Warlock XP. That's rubbish. Oh, well. I just lost like 63k in a couple days. Oh, no. What did you bet 63k? No, you bet 6.3. All right. Like, for me, I'm too afraid to go all in. Exactly, yeah. Anyway, uh, I am going to send you guys out somewhere else. Oh, I need to not save. Or I need to... Um, yeah. Last year, I bet the 50... You bet the 57k on meeting Hilda, or on uh, meeting someone other than Hilda, I think it was, at the Goddess Tower. Who should I raid? Belen, do you know anyone good to raid right now? You just came in. I would like to raid. No, there's no way Justin is still doing draft practice, right? He might be pretty quick, though. This one. Got like practically a monopoly in MP3H right now. Uh, there's Blue Lion Start. There's going on a class field trip to commit war crimes. Always a fun one. You can raid Goals Go Fast. Oh, true. Goals Go Fast. Where's Goals Go Fast? Raiding, playing Silent Hill. I will raid Goals Go Fast. In terms of speedrunning, there are a lot of very, very. They're a cool competition. Mute did um, raiding Don Normal for Goals Go Fast yesterday. And I'm going to raid them. They're just a fun speedrunning group. They're doing a Silent Hill. I don't know which Silent Hill. It doesn't really say Silent Hill PlayStation New Game Good Plus is what they say. Um, but anyway, they're doing a Silent Hill speed run. Guys, I loved having you in here. You were a fantastic audience. I'm going to do X them Discord in case you wish to join the Discord for live notifications, discussion of the stream topics, etc. Uh, and I don't know. I mean, you guys have been pretty great. Uh, please be respectful when you show up to Girls Go Fast. It is, of course, a speedrunning marathon, so there probably isn't a whole lot of interaction with chat. Um, but they're pretty good. They also have a fundraiser going on for a very good cause, the Nomi Network. Uh, who, I believe you can go in and do like exclaim Nomi and you can ask them about it. Anyway, guys, you're great. I loved having you in here. I will see you tomorrow. 
probably going live with the same category because I am in love with Fire Emblem Three Houses. But you guys have a good night. Unfortunately, getting bonked does hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it does.